Hello, everybody. Welcome to GDQ Hot Picks. This is Random Number Generation Episode 3. We're going to be doing Pokemon Crystal Randomizer. We're going to be doing a best of three series to beat Morty. And here we have 360 Chrism and Keyzron fighting to be Pokemon Masters. And meanwhile, we also have Shenanigan, another Pokemon Master. Shenanigan's here as a awesome commentator. So real quick, as a reminder, GDQ Hot Fix is brought to you by viewers like you. If you are enjoying tonight's show and the other programs of GDQ Hot Fix as well, please consider subbing to the channel. If you have Amazon Prime, you do have access to a free sub. Please consider using that free sub if you haven't already to subscribe to the channel. Also, please join us tomorrow at 7 p.m. Eastern for an awesome speedrun of Even the Ocean by Half Coordinated as part of Disability Awareness Month. AGDQ 2020 volunteer schedule will be released on the 31st as well. Get excited, folks. AGDQ 2020 is right around the corner. And without further ado here, we do have 360 Chrism, Kizaron, and Shenanigans right here on Voice with us. Welcome, everybody. How y'all doing tonight? Man, I need to talk to Hobbs and be like, listen to how Sky did her announcements compared to how we did Because <laughs> <laughs> we're always fumbling. I'm fine, by the way. But <laughs> You're I'm fine, too. Fumbling. That was a great intro. Oh, thank oh, I'm you. I'm so much better after that intro than I was before. <laughs> You're just you ready now. You're ready for this. Oh, I'm fired up, yeah. Okay, so so before we get any false starts this week, we don't want any false starts. We'll we'll start the <laughs> countdown. We can start, you know, just talking about whatever. All right, y'all ready to go here? Uh, yep. Absolutely. All right. We're going to start in three, two, one, go. Good luck. Have fun. I'm sure Kizaron has other plans of luck for Chrism here, but we'll get into that shortly. <laughs> so, uh, Shen, would you like to talk to us about the flags for this so everybody knows what's going on tonight with this race? Yeah, sure. So they're going to do a spinner hell race to Morty, and it's a a game mode where all the spinners will spin ridiculously fast. In fact, all trainers in the game will. And there's a lot of mechanics of spinner dodging we'll get into later, but uh, Morty's the fourth gym leader, so they're going to the fourth gym, and it's randomized, so all the wild Pokemon, all the items on the ground, the Pokemon's moves, the trainer's Pokemon, all these different things will be randomized, and it'll make for a pretty interesting playthrough, because uh, first off, they're going to have to find a good Pokemon, which can take a little bit, and then... <laughs> oh, well, maybe not. You know, well, hook on are on screen there. Well. Uh, we found the uh, the big dog, and that's a pretty good Pokemon. So hopefully it's good. It still could have a bad move set, so we'll see what it's got. But yeah, you'll check all three starters because it's pretty important. Uh, I, either I of you guys want to? I saw the big dog, and I went. You didn't yeah. go for the third one. Why would I? I saw the I big guess, dog. I guess you're not using the Mewtwo then. Well, you know. <laughs> oh, small, okay. Small so. Price. Something else really big I just saw in the Entei, it's got Rock Smash, and that may not seem like a big deal, but you can Rock Smash some rocks in the early game, and it gives you some high-level Pokemon, so they might opt to do that as a strat the Entei is not super good. Nah, I'm not thrilled with the Entei. <laughs> yeah. So we'll kind of talk about coverage as well. Uh, you want, like, moves with a bunch of varying types, and the Entei didn't really have that good of a, like, coverage move pool there. Uh, it does have Hypnosis, which is good for catching, but other than that, nothing too crazy on there. And once again, Professor Elm is a ripoff artist because there's one of the starters early. Oh, yeah. <laughs> uh, It'll happen from time to time. Keith, you know, you kind of sound a little ungrateful here for the legendary, you know? Chat's all like, hey, this is really <laughs> cool, and Keith is like, no, this stuff, you know, this stinks, you know? Don't, well, don't mean, do that. So, so uh, something to always keep in mind with stuff like this is a lot of times it's less about the Pokemon and more about the moveset, uh, especially in this case. So even though Entei has really fantastic stats, um, <laughs> it doesn't have a moveset really. It has wing attack. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Chris just got teleported on immediately. I tried, like to, catch to, I tried to catch something. Though. The first thing I tried to catch is teleport. <laughs> yeah. Again, with random moves, there's gonna be so much oh that my happens. God. Teleport's gonna be kind of annoying, but if he catches something with teleport, it can be useful because he can use teleport throughout the run. So, uh, how, how you doing there, Chris? Sound like you're having a fun time. <laughs> the, I, the first two Pokemon I tried to catch teleported. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's like me earlier today. Everything was just leaving. See, a really good example of using teleport early if you find something with teleport is right after this, 
the flags of the game change, so you can automatically teleport back to Cherry Grove if you didn't walk into the center already. Yeah, it's pretty nice to just skip going through all those patches of grass. I think Chris may have found what he might potentially be running. He caught something. Yeah, probably. Holding an item, too. I, I only saw items. one move, but it was good, so... Yeah. All right, swapping it to the lead, so he is going to attempt to run it. Uh, it can be kind of hard getting a Pokemon going. Starters come at level 5, and everything else he can catch is 4 or lower, and it can be a little bit annoying getting it to higher level. That is a pretty good move set. Okay, yeah, this is definitely what Chris is going to be running. Zap Cannon. Oh, no, not again. 50% <laughs> accuracy. Yeah. Chris and I did a race earlier today, and he ran Zap Cannon the whole time, and had a blast, I'm sure. Oh, Zap Cannon's so garbage. <laughs> I yeah, know. It's 50% accurate, but it's the strongest electric move in the game outside the thunder when it hits. It just doesn't always hit. It also automatically paralyzes if it comes from you. Yeah. There, there's yeah, a something... Uh, work with uh, Gen 2. Uh, we call it a Gen 2 miss. So, <laughs> for whatever reason, uh, the game decides that if the AI uses a move that can status there's an additional 25% chance of it not working. So if you ever see someone speed run like crystal or gold and you see them hit by a supersonic and they complain about it, there's a big reason why supersonic is a 55% accurate move. And then on top of that, it has a one in four chance to not confuse you anyway. It's really nice with moves like growl and tail whip and stuff like that. All those moves can just miss and those debuff moves can be pretty annoying. I yeah, tried to like, knock uh, out a Smoochum, and yeah, I missed I, I missed Sacred Fire, and it burned me. <laughs> <laughs> Come on. Yeah, with the random movesets, there's a lot that can happen. It's all kind of crazy. I'm going to just stay burned. It's fine. I'm just really hoping that the Rock Smash poke is good. Yeah, it looks like he's gambling on it. Rock Smash. Oh, man. So this is I the mean, point we should probably talk about. Spinner and mechanic. Wing Attack isn't exactly something I'm keen on. Yeah, Wing Attack did get buffed in this gen, but it's still not that great. Um, but yeah, Spinners are going to be coming up here. They're the obviously the core mechanic of Spinner Hell is the Spinners. So uh, you'll see him on the first route once Keys gets there. It looks like he's going to be slightly in the lead. And with Spinners, they will turn, I believe every four frames they'll turn. Yeah. And it takes you a certain amount of time to walk through them. I think you like each step is eight frames. So you have to find a way to avoid them, and there's some tricks to that. If either of you want to talk about how, like your way of dealing with spinners, because I know everyone kind of does it differently. Yeah, just uh, save and pray. <laughs> okay. That's my way. You don't do the the pairing thing. Not not with spinner hell. They they, they move a little too much for it to really bother. There is there is a speaking of the pairing thing. So. Uh, I actually brought this up too during my crystal run at uh, SGDQ, but spinners have two directions that are paired that are more likely to be what you see. So if a spinner is looking up, for example, up and left are paired. So if you're trying to pass them from below or to the right, you want to wait until they're looking up or left because they're less likely to look right or down. Yeah, uh, I believe it's 50%. With, with hell, I don't bother. <laughs> yeah, is it 50% to the pair and then 25% for the other two directions? Yeah, I think that's like rounded, but yeah, it's yeah. about right. So yeah, if like if they're looking up and you're trying to pass them on the left side, it's a lot riskier. Oh, <laughs> Key's just going, didn't save or anything, just booked it. Oh yeah, okay, that. so he got hit by the spinner there, so uh, it would have blocked his path. He wants to at least pass them like that, where the spinner doesn't hit him. So a lot of the reset if you get hit? If, if the one that blocks my way... But he saved does. and didn't fight the trainer after he got hit, so he okay, skipped okay. it. Um, but yeah, uh, you want to try to dodge them when they're looking other directions. And you can also pause on like certain good frames. If you pause right as they spin, you know it's going to take them a few frames to spin again, so it can help with your passes a little bit. Yeah, it looks like... I definitely think right now Chris has the better Pokemon, even though he is slightly behind. Uh, Keys is definitely banking on Rock Smash here. If it's halfway decent, I'm going Rock Smash forever. Yeah. Okay, so here comes Chris. He's going to save in front of the first spinner as well. Oh, that's unfortunate. Yeah, he got blocked as well, same way Keys did. Okay. 
Yeah, yeah I'll like just beat him on the second try. I like always time. save if there's something that can block my progress, yeah. or if uh, if it's like the five trainer, a uh, five poke trainer. In, uh, right. Yeah. Yeah, like that. That's awful. Now the other thing we should probably mention: trainers also have max range in this, which uh, <laughs> it means they can hit you from off screen. So sometimes they'll you'll notice they walk kind of weird. It's because there's trainers off screen that can hit them from off screen. So you'll see that in a couple places. The first one's going to be coming up once they go past the uh, the cave here. The keys is going to get Rock Smash Pokemon first. Uh, it comes at level ten. I think there's two different Pokemon you can get oh, from it's, Rock it's, Smash. It's fifteen. Oh, it's level fifteen. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. So even better. Uh, so he's going to save in front of the Rock Smash Rock, and he's going to keep Rock Smashing it until he gets the encounter. I think it's 50% oh. per Rock Smash to get it. Yeah, that's and... <laughs> That's not it, that great. You know, it, it'll, it'll, it'll work. It'll he's work. using it's... it? All right. It'll he get is me gonna to the take... fishing rod. <laughs> yeah, so he's going to try and use that to get to the fishing rod. So the next point that they can get, like, a high-level Pokemon is after the first gym, when they get to the cave... Uh, they pick up the old rod, and you can fish for level 10s, and there's two different places you can fish, so you can get a couple different Pokemon. Oh my god, I'm missing all of the sap cannon. <laughs> okay, I gotta heal now, but it's fine. Zap can just one of those super unreliable moves. This thing's only shown me outrage so far, and that makes me upset. <laughs> so, oh, I'm no. sure... People are wondering this, but uh, what is your worst starter that you've ever had to accept because it was the best <laughs> thing of the three? Skip Bloom. I... Skip Bloom. No, no, Skip no Bloom. question. Skip Bloom can, can roll over and not exist anymore. Thanks. <laughs> I'm sure Chris has a great story. <laughs> I, I, I ran a Weezer, <laughs> which is a very slow Pokemon with no special attack in Gen 1. <laughs> and a, and I, I, was a, I was impressed by its moveset, so I just went with it. We did a, a triple bingo, it was me and Chris. He ran a wheezing, and I finished the triple bingo before he beat the first gym. <laughs> <laughs> Just because the Pokemon was so bad. Uh, its moveset was great. Um, amne it was. Yeah. Amnesia, Thunderbolt, Psychic, Ice Beam, <laughs> I think. <laughs> oh, man. So if you it ever had so something hard. like uh, like Caterpie, Weedle, and Magikarp or something like that for the first oh, three? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Absolute trash on the I first had, three. I had one. It wasn't like bad sounding like that, but I had one that somehow randomized to uh, Bulbasaur, Ivysaur, and Venusaur. Ooh. That's pretty cool. And the Ivysaur is actually infinitely better than everything else. It was very much like Stadium 2. I think the funniest ever randomizer starter I've seen was we did a yellow randomizer, and the only Pokemon we could pick, because yellow you don't get a choice, was a Zapdos, and its only move was uh, Mega Punch and couple other moves that were status and then the opponent uh starter was a gengar and it only knew earthquake so we literally had to make a new rom because we soft walked on the first fight because <laughs> struggle can't hit ghosts and enemies don't run out of pp so it was hey, spamming Chris, earthquake i, get, I gave you a bit of a head start here i i thought i saved and i didn't so i'm in a different Aww. part <laughs> Wait, where are you now uh i thought i saved in faulkner's gym but i didn't so i'm just oh you're just in front of the yeah yeah i'm like it's a not minute. terrible it's not that big a deal yeah yeah, I still think Chris has definitely got the most runnable Pokemon by quite a bit. You you hating on my Goldeen? Yes, I am. Your Goldeen sucks. <laughs> you know, Goldeen. Hey, it's level 15, man. Don't doubt. No! Yeah. Something Can else I... that you might Wait, notice... Wait, I said I'm resetting. Um, something else you might notice is they have an escape option when they pause. It just works as an escape rope because... You can get soft walked in this if you didn't have an escape option. Just because the spinners, uh, because of their new max range, they can block paths that they wouldn't normally block. Just a bit silly. I, I made sure that I saved this time, don't worry. Yeah. If you're not used to Gen 2, you'll notice they can also equip items to their Pokemon. I know a lot of people have mostly played either Gen 1 or newer games, you'd be more used to it, but... Uh, some of the held items can be pretty useful. I know they have berries and bitter berries and stuff. Uh, bitter berries is a held item that heals confusion. Uh, berries heal uh, hit points if they fall below half. Stuff like that can be really useful and clutch in some fights. Anyway, Keys is up to Faulkner now. First of the four gyms we'll get to see this run. 
Uh, he's got level 7 and level 9, so the Skull Dean's good enough to get through the fight, but it's going to fall off hard after this once things start getting higher level, so Keys is really going to have to find a new, better Pokemon. <laughs> he's not going to stick five. to the Gold Dean. <laughs> <laughs> it has Outrage, so it's got at least a moon. Uh, <laughs> I should probably say, uh, Chris is running a Kingdra with, I think it's Ace Beam, Sacred Fire, and something else. Zap, Zap Cannon? Zap Cannon, yeah. Oh, Kingdra's yeah, so, so good. Like it's yeah, so, he's got a really good so Pokemon. Averaged out, so it's always going to be good. Yeah, it's also a male Kingdra. Uh, male and female is kind of a meme in Gen 2. Uh, female Pokemon have the lower part of the DVs, so if a Pokemon's, let's say, 50% male, 50% female rate, uh, the lower half of the DVs mean it will be a female, so you would know if you have a female Kingdra, it's DVs of 0 to 7, which is just how good your attack is on a range of 0 to 15. Uh, if it's male, it would be 8 or higher. So, because it's a male Kingdra, we know it's in the top half of attack DVs, which will be pretty helpful later. Get some extra it's, ranges. It's a super funny thing to think about, too. Just, <laughs> yeah, it's really weird. This is the only gen where gender ratio actually matters. So yeah. if you if you ever see uh, like a male Snubble or Granbull, well, they're seventy five percent to be female. So if you see a male Granbull, then you know you have something with at least you know twelve attack. Yeah, which is a huge deal, especially coming off a of Granbull, which is already naturally a huge attack stat. And Keys, you just Yolo spinners. <laughs> you sure, don't pause or anything. <laughs> he no. just goes. It's crazy seeing that. Those people are really cautious around spinners, and Keys is just kind of balls to walls. I mean, I kind of, I kind of have to. I got to replace this fish, dude. Yeah. <laughs> the fish that's trying so Aww. hard. It's trying so hard. I feel like I hit so many already. <laughs> yeah. That's kind of the thing with Spinner Hell. It's, it's kind of nuts. Like, there's so many trainers you have to fight that you wouldn't normally have to fight because most of these trainers are just not uh, spinning and you can just dodge them because they're looking like to the right and you just walk around them. So you fight a lot more trainers than this, for sure. Alright, I believe in the fishing rod. Yeah, so since uh, Key still doesn't have a runnable Pokemon, he's going to grab the old rod and there's two places he can go to fish. There's the cave and then the route right above. Looks like he's opting for the cave. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna risk the other spinner again. <laughs> I didn't see if he dodged them or not. He, he's yeah. scary. He's got like a level eleven or twelve or something. Yeah, he's got one Pokemon. It's pretty high level. Yeah, the rare slot's ten percent. <laughs> no, it's oh, getting worse. No. Oh man. <laughs> so Keys oh. is gonna stick with the Goldeen a little bit longer. Okay, so old rod fishing slots are 70%, 15%, and 15%. I think it's safe to say that this Jigglypuff's the 70%. Yeah, so he'll probably see it a couple times. So it's like uh, Chris is going to pass him up here. But, I mean, anything can happen. Oh, come oh on, my god, Jigglypuff. I dodged him. Jigglypuff. Wait, did you dodge the first Psyker? Yes. <laughs> Holy crap. <laughs> <laughs> it's so he, he even looked at me, but he didn't. He didn't start walking. Yeah. So if if they look at you, but your character's not quite on the tile yet, and then they look away, they'll never notice you because you were never on the tile. They could hit you. So it's like they can like look at you and then look away really fast. So you can avoid them by doing that. All right. So uh, the fishing sucks. <laughs> <laughs> Are you still just cycling through jiggly puffs uh, it's, right it's now? It's nothing but puff, man. Oh man. Like. <sighs> Go away, hungry box. You're ruining melee. You gotta bring it up every run, huh? Every run. <laughs> Melee's ruined. Aw, oh, man. So, Shen, I have to know, why is this in a best of three format, just out of curiosity? This is the first episode of Random Number Generation where we had a best of three. Is that just so no one person can get ahead by that much if they get lucky? Yeah, Crystal's kind of one of those games where if we do the full game, one person generally just kind of steamrolls after a point. Uh... But doing a best of three, one, you'll get to see like the different kinds of strats for the early game multiple times and then see how, how they both adapt to the early game. And that's usually the more interesting part about uh, randomizers, kind of the first hour or so getting set up and figuring everything out. And with uh, Spinner Hell, it, it makes sense to kind of keep the race shorter rather than longer. <laughs> Oh, we do have our first uh, question from the audience here. Can multiple encounter s slots be the same species and level? 
So mm. the way that encounter slots are treated in terms of Pokemon is you can only have one occupy a terrain slot. So you could you can have something that's in the grass and in the water of the same route, but it's not going to take up two ground slots, for example. Yeah, there's seven different slots for ground, three different slots for water, and then fishing is just kind of based off the rod. I think each has three, but they're different rarities. Uh, it's, uh, so with the rod, it's old rod is three at 70, 15, 15. Um, good rod is four at, I think it's like 25, 25, 20, 20, something like that. And then... Um, Super Rod is 40, 30, 20, 10. But yeah, there's... And then Rock Smash, there's two Pokemon. Or... Is there only one for Rock Smash in Crystal? No, it's, it's, it's two. It's, it's two. It's 90, it 20. Two. Or 90, okay. 10. Yeah, I can, I can yeah, pass. 110 It's really rare to get the other one. 90, 20. <laughs> I should have just kept Rock Smashing for the not Goldeen. <laughs> it's probably like a Charizard with flamethrower or something. Psychic we only took only four zap cannons to hit that Azumarill. Very nice. Well done. I, I, Chris, you're winning this one. <laughs> <laughs> Are you still looking for something? I, He's I a struggling dude. I gave up. I got the goldeen, man. Oh no. I'm the queen the of the fish city. that could. You've got Finding Nemo. His dad's at uh, Morty. He's got to get there. I believe. I believe in the gold. Oh, I'm doing a little trick here where that you can only do in Spinner Hell, where you have to actually fight the last trainer in the well to make progress. So I, I just have him look at me from there and he'll walk over to me. Yeah, because they have max range and he's spinning, he just walks through some walls and a slow poke to get over to you. I think this is more for Keyzron. Is there a chance you will evolve the Goldeen? Absolutely not. <laughs> <laughs> there you yeah. go. If we're getting a Morty, then we're not evolving Goldie. If yeah, you're usually like 25 to 30 when you get there, and Goldie evolves at 31. Or 32, I think, for Goldie. So not quite. Goldie wouldn't be good enough anyway. Or Sea King, excuse me. Uh, oh my god, oh. this is so unfortunate for Chris right now. This is, this is good. <laughs> Our Pokemon randomized on a route-by-route -route basis. Hey, I'm letting yes. Fire Blast. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. I guess, yeah, may as well teach it. Yeah, he, uh, Chris ran out of Zap Cannons on the Frolicator and just couldn't <laughs> couldn't use it because he just kept missing. I, I spammed Sacred Fire and Frolicator took a couple turns. Yeah, at least he burned it. See, at this point in time, since I'm stuck with the Goldeen, I'm not even saving for spinners because I might need the experience. <laughs> yeah. Here's oh, another little trick awful. Chris is doing in the gym. Uh, by letting the twin hit him and then walk forward, it opens up a faster path oh, to get the Bugsy. That way he doesn't have to walk all the way around and risk hitting a oh, bunch of trainers. Oh boy. Oh dear. Well. Uh. Well. well. Maybe the Entei can do something here. Yeah, Keys has found kind of a big wall here. He doesn't really have a great moveset to deal with this. Luckily, Rock Smash coming in clutch is going to do a lot of damage. Oh man. What's it like having a Kingdra? <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> Bet it feels good, huh? Maybe, maybe you should have just forced the Entei. I don't know. Yeah. It's kind of... There's a lot of hard decisions to make with your main Pokemon. Uh, usually going for the level 15, you, with some luck, it's usually pretty good. But uh, sometimes it's a risk that doesn't pay off and you can get kind of walled by stuff. Kind we'll of. See if We'll see if the fish can get through this fight. Should be able to with Outrage. So right, I like this question. Would there be a way to randomize a Pokemon's evolution so you get something like Ivysaur <laughs> into yes. like Kingdra or something like that? Yes, yes. We, we refer to those as Uber randomizers. We do a lot are, more uh, than that in Uber. They, they, are, uh, they are a treat. Yeah, so some other stuff that we do, when, when we do Uber, so it's all the stuff we randomize like this, but in addition, we randomize all the moves, power, accuracy, and whatnot. So you can have like 200 power tackle that's dark type and stuff like that. Uh, and then also the evolutions. So things will randomly evolve into other stuff. Uh, there's all kinds of stuff you can do in Ubers, though. There, we don't run those quite as often because they're so random, but they're still fun uh, from time to time.
Oh, come on, Chris. Hit the... I know, I missed all zap, zap cannons. <laughs> Literally all of them. Should have used the PP up <laughs> on it. Oh, wait, I have one more. <laughs> Please hit. Mm. Nope, I missed all of them. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. I'm gonna reset then. <laughs> this blind Kingdra versus this frail fish. What are we doing? <laughs> Yeah, again, Zap Cannon's one of those moves where you kind of need it for coverage, but it just, it's not good when you have to hit it. He doesn't have no. anything else to hit water types. He has I only to use, use it on water types, yeah. Yeah, when we talk about coverage, um, we're mostly referring to like all your move types as a whole, and then what types they hit for either neutral or super effective. And fire <laughs> plus ice is walled pretty hard by water types normally. Uh, but with Zap Cannon, oh, come on, guy. Balls it, if he can Stay hit. Asleep. Okay, it's using a mud slap on me, so it's even harder to hit Zap Cannon. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I love these two awful fights going on at the same time. Okay, Keys is through yeah, his. Yeah. He's hey, out of the well now. Bugsy's a big struggle for me, Keys. Yeah, it's the actually funny. I think Keys will have an easier fight. The Fraligator was literally like, all right, I took my power nap. I'm waking up again. It was a horrible. Hit, please. <laughs> oh, my God. I missed three again. You should... Four. <laughs> this is the point. You should just pee pee up the zap can so you get like six of them. <laughs> I'm, I'm the little fish that could. Let's go, Nemo. Okay, hit the last zap cannon. Oh, it doesn't even kill. Wow, jeez. All right. Okay, I'm gonna just relax with the troll. Just wants to level up your uh, Entei a bit in case you need it later. That's probably. Uh... I'm a Goldeen. <laughs> I cannot <laughs> believe Pippi Spades right now. You chose this path, Keys. I I didn't choose this. The Rock gave it to me. <laughs> yeah, he consulted the Rock. I consulted. Oh God, the Entei's That's getting leveled. <laughs> Here we go. <laughs> <laughs> you you uh, usually don't want your like other Pokemon to level up because watch this XP bar and ooh, level seven and it just goes on and on. Okay, nice. Sock all, right. all right, Bugsy, I hear you exist. All right, both on Bugsy at the same time. Dang, cut up. Is that so, still Goldeen? Hey, what kind of randomizer? Yes, it's still Goldeen. <laughs> okay. Their methods of getting here were quite different. <laughs> I have to use Sacred Fire in the rain, dude. Okay, <laughs> Steam. Nah, I <laughs> wanted to burn it first. Fair enough. Yeah, Sacred Fire is 50% to burn, and that can be pretty helpful sometimes. Alright, looks like this should KO and... Yeah, yeah. Alright, yeah, Chris is through the, the Bugsy fight at least. Of course, he's gonna get paralyzed right before the end. Yeah, I'm gonna go use the Senta before the rival. I didn't plan on, but I missed all my Sab Cannons and I'm paralyzed, so I might as well. Yeah. It can just, it's so awful sometimes. I'm assuming it was the Polyrath. And the last one. Yeah. What the oh, heck is this? There's, there's right. two water walls on this fight. Oh no. Go to sleep. Oh boy. Oh yeah, it had Spark. Oh, that's okay. gonna be bad. No, it's fine, it's fine, it's fine. It's sleeping. It's sleeping. Just take a nap. Oh yeah, nap time. Rock Hopefully he outraged two shots. Hopefully he gets the three turns. So outrage locks you in for two to three turns. Hopefully he gets three turns and just completely oh, free. No. All right, well, uh, go, go Entei. Yeah, Entei will finish it off. You're actually doing like super fine with like with the Goldeen. Yeah, it comes Crazy. at a high level, so you can kind of body your way through some fights. It comes at 15, so. Not too bad. All right, Keys is through. Zente is level I'm, 10 now, so. I'm the Goldeen that could, I'm telling you. I might lose <laughs> this race, but I'm, I'm there for you, Goldeen. I'll tell you right now, Goldeen is a chat favorite right now. They're like, can we <laughs> donate to have Keys keep playing with the Goldeen? I'm Everyone just like, oh boo my gosh. Chris. <laughs> wow. Wow. Right, press one if you're, if you're part of the Goldeen dream. <laughs> Two if you're in the Kingdra Kingdom. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Hey, like... we hit Sap Cannon first try. Let's go. Through the Cloister. Oh crap, I forgot we Dude, have a who, who oh, doesn't no. like coin flip fish? Like, come on guys, coin flip fish is having a great time. <laughs> Wait, am I coin flip fish? 
Yeah, yeah, of course you are. You're using Zaphcan every ten <laughs> seconds right. I look over. One of them said skip loom just for y'all. <laughs> no, no, no. Skip loom's so awful. What? Does Goldeen learn moves? Holy crap. Uh, I think he does it like 22. Well, that's a little late. Yeah, a little bit. He'll make it there. I know, that's a sad thing. Oh, this right, cloister. Oh, there. my. That's like a 20 yes! shot. Oh my goodness! He crit freezes a cloister? Are you kidding me? <laughs> Wait, you can freeze ice types? <laughs> yeah, with, with try attack, attack you can. Oh, with try attack. Yeah, yeah. You can't get status by moves that share a type with you. So normal types can't be paralyzed by body slam. Electric types can't be paralyzed by thunder. Stuff like that. Uh, try attack kind of skips that and you can freeze ice Let's type. Let's go try attack. Whatnot. Try attack's my homie right now. Try attack outrage. Truly an amazing move set. I mean, Sing's pretty clutch too, honestly. Sing's been helping a lot if they sleep for more than one turn. Yeah, sometimes you just gotta start nap time. Okay, so do you think to beat Morty, they'll be able to crack the egg by then? If that's the case, what is the best egg Pokemon y'all have ever gotten? Uh, it definitely oh. won't hatch by Morty. Unless it's something like a Magikarp or like a, a baby of some sort, it, it shouldn't hatch by then. And uh, even then, it's pretty tough. I've never had an egg that was that was worth hatching. Oh my god. I paused yeah. on the wrong title. Sometimes we do stuff like bingo. Um, so like bingo and randomizer. And a couple times the egg will hatch and it'll be something on the bingo card, which is kind of cool. Uh, bingo, you're competing to do, you know, a bingo card worth of goals. And sometimes one of the goals will be like Entei or uh, Hitmonlee or Hitmonchan and I've had the egg be on the card once or twice but you never really like main switch to it because it comes at level 5 and by the time it hatches you're like level 30 man I'm, I'm such <laughs> oh a sad panda God. right now <laughs> I just Goldie. watched Chris look at his moves and think to himself, I should zap cannon in this and then <laughs> But I don't want to. <laughs> I, <was going> to. <laughs> I, I can feel the, the trials going through your mind. You're like, do I you zap cannon? Four? Oh no. <laughs> <laughs> when it when you spend a few seconds on the move. I can feel the, I can feel it so hard. You're like, I have to, don't I? <laughs> I think I'll check out the moves in the Mart, actually. I keep getting walled. Yeah. What's kind of weird about uh, Crystal is once you get to Ecritique, you get Surf. And once you get Surf, it kind of just solves most moveset problems. Uh, not necessarily Chris's, but for the most part, it'll usually solve your moveset issues. And you kind of get it for the last couple fights, which is really good. Shen, this uh, is awful. This is awful. I hate everything. <laughs> So, so someone in chat called you out and said, is Shen still salty? I, I would like to know what? a little more about that story. It sounds like there's something there, so. Wait, was I, okay. I was, I was salty with one of our races today because <laughs> <laughs> uh, we were doing a race to catch the shiny Gyarados. Oh. And in order to make it so that we finished on time for this to start, I saved before the Gyarados and Chris didn't. He was willing Yolo. to risk us not being able to be on time for this race today. Well, well just me. <laughs> he, 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 only, he only didn't save because I saved. Which is stupid, Chris. That's cheating. I know. Uh, I'm teaching I hidden it. I'm teaching hidden power to Kingdra. Wish me luck. That's the I Yolo, can't yeah. believe I'm still running this goal. It was game. mostly as a joke. I wasn't actually mad. I was just jokingly mad. Why not, Keys? Everybody loves Goldeen. You're the hero I... in chat. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna put Goldeen as the next run star. Oh, I got X accuracies. Let's go. No, don't don't bother with it. No, that using items is cheating. I know. I agree. Wow. Yeah. So there's a lot Agreed of good stuff you can get them. the Mart. <laughs> yeah, this Mart's like super good in Rando. You get super potions, repels, revives, X items, which are super broken, and then three TMs. Uh, Hidden Power was one of them. Uh, All right. it's sometimes okay. they'll be really Kenya's good. Kenya's gonna be the main. Watch this. <laughs> the Kenya main switch. The Kenya main switch. Oh, that doesn't look good. Oh, oh no. <laughs> All right, Goldine for life. Oh, am I still? 
my OBS crash. I think, yeah, I was going to say, I think your stream's having issues right now, Chris. I'll it froze it. for me. I'll check so, that step. Do you want to uh, stop shortly? Oh, it fixed. It's back. It oh, fixed. It's, You're oh, good. You're good. Yep. Yeah, I think, I think I got kicked out by the server. Okay. All good now. So yeah, now they're on Spinner Hell and Spinner Hell. So there's a billion trainers this here. This is the worst part oh, of God. the entire race. Oh, Chris already sniped from off screen immediately. But yeah, there, there's so many trainers here, and a lot of them have multiple Pokemon. It's just an awful route to try to make your way through. You know, Shen, this chat is exposing you right now. This says this isn't Shen's chat. We can safely say Kadaver. Do you have something against Kadaver? Oh my goodness. <laughs> <laughs> Can are Chad's there any mods in chat? Can we please get timeouts for the people saying Kadabra? This is awful. I am being <laughs> fed information about you, Shen. It's a meme in my chat. Uh, there was a catch em all race me and Chris did, and I kept forgetting to mark Kadabra on the card for like three hours, and chat just kept saying mark Kadabra. And I just started timing people out who kept telling me to mark the Kadabra. Uh, oh, I'm fighting everyone in hell. Oh, dude, Chris, we can't have that on the GDQ stream. Come on. <laughs> They're overlapping. <laughs> not, not here. <laughs> we, can't, we can't have this. Come on. <laughs> they said you broke the audio, Chris. <laughs> the audio? <laughs> yeah. Apparently, Chris, unfreezing, has broken the audio. <laughs> Perfect. All right. He hear me out, game. You're going to... You're gonna not let me get hit by him as soon as I load back in. Very good. I can actually hear the audio through someone's mic now. Alright, so I didn't see if Chris was doing the death warp strat. Chris, are you doing death warp here? No, nah, I'm just not. Okay, so there's a strat you can do where you all deposit right. all your Pokemon. Uh, we have to come all the way up here, talk to the girl, and then go all the way back to Goldenrod. So one of the strats is you deposit your whole team, and then just die to a fight to get sent back to Goldenrod. Uh, sometimes you'll do it, sometimes you won't. So it looks like Keys is doing it, probably because I'm talking about it, he wants to show it off. Um, so he's going to dump his whole team, and then just go wipe one of the two fights. There, Watch this. I hope, you wipe. I hope you sent her in Goldenrod. I sure did. Okay. Yeah, oh my goodness. Die. Okay. He loses the race. Do you have a move? Oh, okay. Oh, wait, oh is, it, is it a jinx? You found the jinx, yeah. I found oh. Comet Punch. In a race jinx. earlier, I, 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 I used the jinx starter throughout the entire race. Yeah, it happens. Uh, please kill me. <laughs> on this, oh, come on. this probably doesn't look faster but it, it overall this is probably oh. saving time like even though this fight's getting really horribly like it's still faster than going back through like spinner hell and extra time everything's awful right now and i can't heal poison mm -hmm. i gotta go to the center after this fight so you can see like uh, Chris had a pretty big lead going into the spinner hell part, like toward the end of it, and they're both oh crap! You know what I forgot to do? I forgot. To oh, he forgot to draw his Pokemon again. All right, that's fine. <laughs> please, please end this. The extra death here, extra death warp strats. Yeah, I just want to show it off. Yeah, some RNG in up here. I have to walk out too. I forgot to get antidotes or full heals. All right, let's try that again, huh? That was a that was a thing. I was I was mashing A because I thought I had my gold eaten in my party. I'm like, why am I splashing? Oops. Yeah, it's like the weakness to the strat. You have to enter the PC multiple times. Better than risking five million Pokemon. <laughs> yeah. There's so many spinners. And, like, the more spinners you avoid on the way down, like, the way up, the less you want to risk hitting them on the way back down. Because you have to do three passes, but you only have to do two if you do the Death Warp. Oh, and I'm the, telling you, Gold Team doesn't learn moves, man. It's a lie. I swear it learns in Gen 2. Maybe it's 24 that it learns. I know for a fact it learns.
Hidden power is neutral on fire types, so it didn't help me at all. Yeah, it's 15 and 24 keys. So you just got it at the level it would learn, and then 24 is the next move. I thought it was 22. All right, that's fine. That's fine. Are you on Whitney? Next... No. <laughs> oh, okay. He's close. He just got to the first trainer in the gym. Just beat him. Yeah, Whitney's one of those fights. Uh, usually at this point, it's not that big a deal, but uh, in regular regular speedruns, it's a pretty bad fight. <sighs> no. Is it worth... Yeah, I'm using an X accuracy. Oh, oh yeah. And now I'm asleep for eight turns before I can actually use a move, probably. All right, first of all, thanks to... Oh, GDQ staff for bringing the audio back alive. Thank you so much for working on that. Thank you everybody for being patient as we were doing that as well. So one of the first questions now, since we have everything back now is what is bingo? Because y'all were talking about bingo, but that's not something we featured quite yet on this show. Yeah, so bingo, you have a bingo card. It's a five by five, just like, you know, standard bingo where you pull the number out, call it. Uh, except instead of the numbers that are like just ra the random numbers, there's like bingo goals within the game. So one of them might be uh, catch a pseudo widow, or one of them might be uh, collect this badge. And your objective is to just complete five in a row on the bingo card uh, as fast as you can. And there's a lot of strategy to it. And because it's Pokemon, there's some randomness to it. And based off the randomness you get, you pick certain paths. Uh, it makes for a pretty interesting race. Uh, most people don't just do single bingo. A lot of the time people try to do like two to five uh, at a time on the same card. Uh, either Cinco Bingo as it's called or Triple Bingo are the more common races. Man, uh, no. this, this is such a lovely nap I'm taking. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Keys is kind of the Cinco Bingo master nowadays. And I uh, put to sleep out of seat right now. <laughs> You know, uh, you told me you weren't going to use Goldeen that much, and here we are in the third leader of four for race one, I and you're using Goldeen. Anything. I mean, he also said he would complete Animorphs at GDQ in 45 <laughs> minutes. <laughs> you all know that one. <laughs> and they're giving him a second chance. <laughs> With an even harder category. <laughs> When's all morphs at GDQ? <laughs> <laughs> Could you imagine all morphs? Oh no. On this episode of You Donated For It. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. Oh, dude, you can escape from Whitney's jet. Dude, keys with the strats. I didn't know you could do that. Wait. Escape function or rope? Yeah, he escaped function from Whitney's gym. Oh, are we allow that? I didn't know. Yeah, see, we, we kind of have different house rules, so. Uh, me and Chris tend to use like one set of the rules. I know Keys uses like kind of a different set. Uh, so you know he's a dirty escaper out of Whitney's gym. Where Look, me I'm and Chris are purists. Goldie. I don't want to hear it. <laughs> <laughs> we have an animorphs related question from the chat. Will Keys sing the awesome theme this GDQ? No. <laughs> Good oh, <answer>. and Muffins <laughs> just said cadaver again. So. Uh... Okay. Oh. Why are the mods doing this to me? <laughs> no. I can't time out mods in here. It's not my stream. You're being judged, Shen. You're being judged very hard right now. <laughs> Why does chat have to be mean to me in here, too? Now I got it. Is there right. a highlight of that somewhere? I feel like I need to see this cadaver thing. It's, it's like a good. whole race. It's it's literally an entire six hour race ever get to market. <laughs> and I keep asking chat, like not even trolling throughout the race. I'm like, guys, I forgot to mark something. What is it? Oh, it's cadaver. Thank you. I just forget to mark it because I'm doing other stuff. Keys, if you make it to Sudo Wudo, it's I a new main. It. I see it. I see yeah, it. Yeah, he's ca he's literally catching it right now. So I the gold will wow, go you're, away. You're like. <laughs> Seconds behind me only with yeah, a Goldeen. Goldeen is a champion, okay? All right, now to dump this Goldeen forever. Goodbye, Goldeen. Forever. No! No, you can't be serious. Uh, yeah, yes, I am serious. You are going to disappoint. Oh, you just can disappointed I, can I get so an many F in people. chat for Goldeen. Also, yes. go Team Chris. Woo! Team Chris. 
<laughs> oh wow, this Dodrio Trio is garbage. <laughs> oh no. You got a seismic toss TM. Let's see. Are you gonna get Rock Smash or are you gonna opt to not get it? I'm it's opting not to get not Rock get Smash. it. Did you and get you the, didn't uh, get head, the head did you get TM? Oh, right. no headbutt. Mm. That's unfortunate. Yeah, you can get the headbutt TM and it will always be headbutt because field moves, moves that you can use in the field, uh, they're always gonna be, you know, the set field move. That way, someone doesn't get trolled because they can't get Sweet Set or Dig or whatnot. Uh, so you can always get a headbutt TM and it's a really good physical normal move uh, and you can get it really early on, but uh, because he was running a Goldeen at the time, he didn't opt to get it and now he would kind of want it, but the Dodrio has Swift, so it's not that big a deal. I'm gonna quote chat here, and I said, <laughs> "Yes, I'm serious." <laughs> Keys 2019 on <laughs> <I'm> the Goldeen. <laughs> <laughs> now they're saying that Chris is gonna win because Keys dumped the Goldeen. I wasn't it's gonna all win over. With the Goldeen. <laughs> you guys got about what? How long's the race been? 40 minutes. You guys got about 42 minutes more of Goldeen than anyone would have expected. <laughs> I thought that thing was gonna get dumped immediately. <laughs> So did I. <laughs> <laughs> no. Yeah, that's, that's the hard part about running Rock Smash. Sometimes you just gotta take garbage for the whole race. Uh, Chris, you it's to... Just to let you know, it's to Morty. You don't have to do Kimono. Oh, I'm beating the Kimono girl. <laughs> the lead is mine! <laughs> oh my god. Do I beat the last one to get served? I, you might as well you. at that point. Might as well like, at this point. Th that's that's not even me trying to stay ahead. If you're one fight away, you're yeah. one fight away from stab surf. That might be. Uh, I, I wish I would have known this earlier. Sorry, but yeah, uh, normally yeah, when yeah. Uh, when yeah, me we and Chris race, race we... a little further than uh, than Morty, so that's why I went for the Kimono Girls right away. Yeah, normally when me and Chris race, we get to the shiny Pokemon, and you need Surf to get to the shiny. So we normally have to fight the Kimono Girls for Surf, but. Uh, because ah, that, that may have cost me the race beating all the kimono girls. <laughs> yeah, that's what I like. And Rhea just got ancient power, which helps a little bit. That, uh, that ah! solves a couple issues. So you're oh, in the gym right now. He's just frozen. Ugh. Goldine, go Goldine! Oh, come on. Well, I I will. <laughs> it's Goldine. Ken, Ken, time Kenya's to shine. just Kenya's doing its thing. <laughs> Can you make? Are you, are you uh, in the gym right now? No. No, he's still on rival. Right, oh, we Goldine. have to be rival. Oh, it's not a try attack, so that kind of sucks. Oh, but see, now when Keys runs in trouble, now we get to see Golden again. Listen. He's <laughs> the biggest turn code I've ever seen. Listen. Dumps it, dumps it immediately and then needs it and begs for it to come back. Oh, this Cloyster's going to be annoying, though. Uh oh. Oh, I don't have repels either. Why are you frozen, Dodrio? It's kind of unfortunate that uh, Chris doesn't have repels. This is the last area of the run you need them, and you only need one to get through here. You can escape function to get out after the dogs, I guess, once you get there. Yeah, it looks like he's got a pretty slow rival, so you might be able to catch up here, especially with how good your moveset is now. Mm -hmm. Surf helps a little bit, but not like too much. It's definitely good for like the rock types. Everything is awful, and I need the center. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah, okay. So Chris actually has X items. I don't think he's had X items. I didn't nope. see him use any. Um, X items give you a boost in each of your stats. Um, so, like, for example, uh, let's say you use two X attacks. It's the same as a sword stance. And uh, you can buy them pretty early in Crystal, and they can be super useful in some fights. So now that he's plus one or plus two, he'll pretty much steamroll this whole fight. Uh, especially with Stab Surf. Uh, stab being same type attack bonus, just a 1.5 times boost to moves that share a type with you. So Kingdra's part water, so Surf will do an extra 1.5 times damage compared to what it normally would. Uh, something bad about centering an Ekritique, you have to go through a little cutscene, which Keys just did, and it's annoying, but I don't uh, have a choice. Yeah, <laughs> definitely not if he's frozen. Uh, I think Chris might be able to skip the center here, so Chris might actually uh, gain back a little bit. Uh, dodging the, sp the the first bear in this gym is pretty big to avoid. He has five Pokemon, uh, 
But he's also pretty hard to avoid. Oh, you um, can't escape function here? Oh, I didn't know that. Okay. Just walk out then, I guess. But yeah, it looked like he's is going to reset for the dodge. Wow. There's like, there's like two mindsets. The first is resetting for the dodge, which, as you can see, can take a little bit. The second is you just kind of accept the fight and lose a minute. Never. No. <laughs> <laughs> we have a tied race as soon as he as soon as Chris saves. <laughs> okay, it looks like it looks like Chris is just gonna accept the fight and it looks like he's just gonna accept the fight I now. So <laughs> looks like you guys are tied literally to the frame going into the fight. <laughs> That's kinda crazy. So we'll see how uh, how the fight goes. I think uh, Chris has a pretty solid lead now because his Pokemon's quite a bit better. But it looks like he's going to opt to X item here, which is probably a good idea. Uh, he could have gone for Zap Cannon, which would have one shot. No. <laughs> <laughs> but if he got an X special, it makes Surf one shot, and then now the one shot other stuff. So just more consistency. It's a cool little strat you can do sometimes with the X items if you have enough of them. Oh, Keys is on shift strats too. That's probably pretty annoying. Generally, for Pokemon speedruns, we play on set, so with shift, it asks you every time you defeat the Pokemon, hey, do you want to switch out? And then you can, but it's Aww. slower because the text boxes. Looks like I'm beating all trainers in the gym. <laughs> yeah, immediately hit by the girl on the right. We'll see if Keys gets the dodge. I, I'm Probably going gonna for save. the dodge. <laughs> Probably going to save here. I'd be surprised. Yeah, he's going to go for the dodge. Okay, he's passed on the one side. So, uh... That's one of the spinners you only have to dodge once, and oh boy. He dodged the other trainer, too. Oh, wow, okay, so he just managed to dodge every spinner. Straight to straight to Morty here. So this is the last fight of the run. This is Morty. Be easy. All right, Chris get, get is going to need some luck power here. Boost. I believe in you. Yeah, the Nidrio has boost. ancient power. Dang it. Ancient power boost. Dang it. This is an interesting strategy from Chris. He's saving in the line of sight of a spinner. I've never seen this before. Be sure to uh, call time once it happens, just so we have accurate times for choice. Yeah, uh, Keys can go ahead and call. It'll be right when the text that he defeated Morty appears, given oh, he wins. No. And this is interesting. Hold on, he is getting pretty badly trolled by this lead. He's out of ancient power. I'm getting now, trolled too. by the lady. It looks like we need a Goldeen. <laughs> I'm not saving, I'm just going in. Oh yeah, dear I god. Either. Oh right. wait, uh, hold up. Nope. Hold I, up. I can't, I can't win. He from had to there. reset. Oh my god, I wait. Can't win from Chris there. from behind. Hold on. Oh no. Did he save? Okay, he saved before, so okay, no X items is really punishing keys here. Uh Chris having the X items, he's gonna go ahead and use an X special. See if he chooses to do more. I think Get he used an X accuracy as well. Jerk. Two X specials. Dang. Get the boost! He does have a Paralyzed Cure Berry. Gonna go ahead and use that. Okay. Three more attacks and I'm done. Yeah, so this this Kingdra is pretty much gonna sweep. So Keys yeah, is gonna King, need some wins. crits here. Yeah, Keys needs some crits. I just... I just he hit the Zap Cannon because he bought the X Accuracy. So that was so smart. Yeah, yeah X Accuracy is I needed it twice on this miss. one too. Wow, yeah. He needed two Zap Cannons. You can't miss after using an X Accuracy, so... Uh, Zap Cannon is guaranteed to hit now, so it's a super good move. Alright, we've got one Pokemon left. Just the Nine Tails, that should be an easy one shot. I think Chris has this. Oh, and uh, then the yeah. Daedra goes down. The Heretic, the anti Gleam Heretic. Time goes for me. Down. And that's, yeah, time for Chris. <laughs> I did the Kimono Girl bonus. 51 for you, Chrism. Very <laughs> nice. nice. I'm, I'm gonna I'm gonna let this Goldeen try to ride this out real quick. <laughs> yeah, let's see if the Goldeen can pull this off. Unfortunately, in Gen 2, in Gen 1, if Pokemon's asleep and it wakes up, it takes a turn to wake up and it won't be able to attack you. So you can kind of just lock things into being asleep. But as you can see, the Lapras woke up and Thunder Punch nope. at the same time. Holding couldn't do it. <laughs> yeah, and he missed the Sing, so dead. Goldeen tried. <laughs> do you want to finish keys or do you want to? Oh, hell no. <laughs> no? Okay. All right, so Prism <laughs> wins race one. 
I think Chris is going to go check what the shiny is really quick. He's pretty close to it. Just out of curiosity, I guess. Yeah. We the, always like to see what the shiny is. Is for there the always fans. a guaranteed one? Yeah. So the the Lake of Rage Gyarados, uh, it'll always be shiny. And it'll just be randomized to a different Pokemon in every run. Oh, uh, nice. Generally, when me and Chris race, we race to the shiny because it's just slightly more interesting than Morty. And it it's only like this much longer. It's an extra like minute or two getting over here. Oh, you're doing that. Dude, you take the weirdest path through here. What on earth? Wait, is there a better one? Yeah, you just... You go through the path and go up the right side. You pay oh. the rockets. Oh! <laughs> I always dodge all the trainers there! You've never done that? No! Have we done? Oh my god. I lose races to this guy? <laughs> yeah, I gotta pay the rockets next time. Oh my wow. god. <laughs> I thought it was a one way. Shot. <laughs> uh chris do you have the next rom i think i sent it in the discord yes we're good to go okay okay the shiny is now let's see after we see what the shiny is i have a quick thing to read off here and then we're gonna take a break after that before the next race Ooh. okay nope. oh that'll look cool Aw, oh. it's m first people from my chat are probably freaking out right now all right, folks, as a quick reminder again, GDQ Hotfix is brought to you by viewers like you. If you are enjoying tonight's show and the other programs of GDQ Hotfix, please consider subbing to the channel in order to support it. Remember, if you have Amazon Prime, you do have access to a free sub. Please consider using it here to support the channel. That being said, we are going to have a quick break, and there will be two more races after this, regardless of results, so please stay tuned. Hello and welcome back to GDQ Hotfix Random Number Generation Episode 3. We are back with Pokemon Crystal and I'm joined here by 360 Chrism, Kizaron, and Shenanigans. Thank you so much again for a fantastic first race in which Chrism just at the end, <laughs> despite facing all the kimono ladies, <laughs> <the> surf, <laughs> came back. The kimono bonus. The kimono bonus. That that should be that should be a head start on this race, in my opinion. If you take that and win. <laughs> all right, are we all ready for round two? No. No? Yes, no. very much ready. Yes, okay. All right, let's do it then, folks. In three, two, one, go. Good luck. Let's see those starters. So rare hearing a countdown with keys in the race that isn't three, two, one meme. I know, right? I don't, I don't <laughs> even know what the word go means anymore. <laughs> I can say that for the next one if you want you me should, to. You know? you should. Oh, we'd I love should? you to. Okay. Okay, all right, I can I can do that. So uh, if I see a Goldeen as one of the starters, I'm just going to die laughing most likely. I'm gonna cry. <laughs> I'm gonna cry. What's funny is like, like well, Chris wins. Sometimes like if all three starters are bad, you just kind of pick the fastest one because it has the higher odds of running, and Goldeen could actually be picked for that. Yeah. What's well, not though, huh? I did randomize all three of these before the race, so if there's a Goldeen, just. Go ahead and laugh, because it will be natural. Oh. Okay, I think I know what everyone's going to be running here. Well. Of course the Mantine. <laughs> I don't I don't like giving rival Mantine, though. Like, that's... Yeah, oh, Mantine's, weird. like, one of the biggest special walls in the game. It might be the biggest special wall. So you kind of need a physical Pokemon to deal with it. Oh, yeah, it's not named Blissey, annoying. anyway. <laughs> yeah, that's kind of the only other special wall. Yeah, Man like Mantine's Blissey a Hitman. huge huge tank. You need an electric move or physical moves to get mm -hmm. it out. Yeah, and this drill can might have a good move set, but it might get kind of walled on the Mantine. Oh, first step encounter, great. Second step encounter. This game's garb. <laughs> hey, look, it's an Eevee. I can change my options. Yeah, find the Thunderstone and just go. Okay, we have Thunder Shock. <laughs> Perfect. Eh. So, something I don't know if we mentioned, uh, in the first three gens, Moves aren't uh, physical or special just based off the move. They're physical or special based off their type. So while you might think Shadow Ball is good on the Jolteon, it's a physical move, so it's not quite that good. Uh, the so easy upset. way to remember it... Oh, yeah. I, both of you have seen it. I'm but, so upset. Uh... <laughs> yeah, the easy way to remember moves that are special in Gen 1 is if there's an evolution with that type, it's special, and then Dragon. So... Water, Fire, Electric, Psychic, Dark, uh, Grass, Ice, Dragon is the special moves in Gen 1. And 2 and 3. So they both saw something pretty good on Route 1. 
make go back for it. Who knows? Did we see the same thing? Wait, oh, we can't say that. Purple? Yeah, it was yeah. purple. <laughs> Pretty that, good. That's what I got so many complaining about. I, so, okay, I ran into an Eevee and then an Espeon. So I'm just that route. <laughs> yeah. There's so many evolution. If this is the evolution race. <gasps> Wooly Woo! How is the Wooly Woo? Run it, run it. No. <laughs> <laughs> I love it enough to know that it's not runnable, okay? We've we've done it before, Chris. Never again. Trust me. It's so bad. <laughs> you, you remember you remember that race we did where we had Wigglywoo as the starter in red, and we had to bind Brock for like twenty. Yeah, Brock minutes was to like win. thirty. Oh my minutes. goodness. Yeah. It was the worst thing on the planet. <laughs> it's pretty bad, dude. Are you kidding me right now? <laughs> don't don't oh tell Oh my anyone. god. <laughs> There's there's one person in here who's who doesn't see what's happening. I'm sad. Uh, something else. Uh, Pokemon come with held items. They're not guaranteed to have one, but they can be TMs sometimes. I didn't see if either of those held items were TMs, but uh, if they are, you can get moves off that, which can be really useful. I've had a race where I caught a Mewtwo, and it had a pretty crappy move set, and I caught something else that had a Psychic TM. It's like, oh, you two time. Hmm. Chris, I'm seriously? Seriously? <laughs> <laughs> the moveset's not good, though. It's only ice book coverage. And he's female. Ugh. Yeah, I know. So bad in Gen 2. <laughs> it's so you should bad. really explain it's that so every bad. time you make that joke. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah in, in Gen 2, if you have a female Pokemon, it just means you have the lower half of DVs for attack. So we know for a fact that this Kingdra that he caught is Again? is zero to seven <laughs> DV attack. Catch something else, you weenie. Oh my goodness. <laughs> oh, he might. He might. Hold up. No, I'm not catching Oh, that. but it's female again. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and friendly reminder, like, the female thing is based off ratio as well, so if it's something yes. like a Machamp, where it's one in four to be female, then it only gets at maximum three DV out of 15 possible DVs for attack. If it's something yeah. like the starter Pokemon, which are one in eight to be female, so like a Feraligator, it's a zero to one DV attack, and that's really crippling for something like Feraligator that's more physical than special. Yeah, it's really bad. Most speedrunners, uh, when you go to nickname a Pokemon, you can see the gender. And if you see female, you just instantly reset your run because you can't run a zero or one DV attack Pokemon. So I have to ask you about the male female thing. Is that the same for Pokemon Stadium as well in terms of stats? No, it's only. Oh, wait, it's, maybe it's in so Stadium it's... too. Yeah, in Stadium uh, too. I'm, I'm not sure about Stadium too. Actually, I don't. I don't think it is. I'm not 100% sure. I would guess I know they it's, have to. It's like that with uh, it's like that with gold, silver, crystal because that's the only way they could get the time machine to work to yeah. transfer between the two games was to find some sort of corresponding stat they could work with. Yeah, I think it like anything backwards compatible with these games would have to have uh, gender assigned to attack DV. So, so I would assume like, Stadium Two would be the yeah. same. Yeah, because a lot of the rentals are female, and I know that they did want to discourage you from using rentals in Stadium 2, so now that makes perfect sense given what y'all just said. They're probably mostly female because I think the rentals all have zero DV. Right? Isn't that the case? Don't all the rentals have zero DVs? They're, it's low if not zero. I can't remember off the top yeah. of my head, though. And since they're low DVs, they'll almost all be female, unless they're a Pokemon that has a very high male rate. So, for example, the starters are uh 87.5 percent to be male so okay, i think i think it's standard 5 dv if that's yeah. the case then yeah i think yeah i think you're right i think it's 5 dv for all the rentals so yeah anything that has more than a uh, five out of 16 chance to be uh male would be female uh for the rentals in uh, stadium too wiggly woo you need to stop showing up buddy mm, i don't think i'm gonna run the kingra this time Oh no! <laughs> no. I've seen <laughs> a couple not? runnable things. Is this runnable? So slow, isn't it? Eh. Chat would be happy. But... I ran into something that I wanted to run, but then I crit it with Stomp and never saw it again. <laughs> Happens. I think Chris is gonna try to catch this. I haven't. You kind of like judge the move set as you're catching and 
you'll kind of like know this if it's gonna be good or not. Oh, mm. maybe Keys' turn. Keys is thinking about it now. No, no, no. I have a plan for this. Don't you worry. He has a plan. Hold on. I have a plan. I have a plan. I'm very curious what this plan is. <laughs> Good point. <laughs> Top Man, losing, losing so much time, but it's, so it's worth it. If I lose because of that, so be it. I went out on my terms. Now, you are playing from behind, so. Alright, looks like Chris is committing. So, this is kind of what I mean when I say, like, sometimes you'll commit to a Pokemon. So, mm. there is something that Chris saw earlier that he knows is runnable. So he's going to stay here till he gets it, is what it looks like. So he's kind of just forcing himself for it. Meanwhile, uh, Keys may have found something good. Haven't okay. seen all the moves on it yet, but we'll see. It, uh, one move's good and one move's not. Yeah. Alright, two moves are bad. So, Don't worry, I'm still looking. This question came up earlier. Uh, no, the evolutions are not randomized, although that would be wild if that was the case. And I believe the stats don't re-randomize upon evolution either. Yeah, that's yeah, something else you do are, in the Uber. The stats are standard. Yeah. yeah. Stats and typing are the same. So in Uber Randomizer, that's something we would randomize. So all the stats would be... Uh, we, we shuffle the stats. So uh, let's say, you know, uh, Mew has 600 base stat total. It would just shuffle those stats uh, for everything. So it would add all its stats up and then randomly divide them. I'm, between... I'm hitting Stadium right now, dude. Between the Thundershock... Jolteon and a Confusion Alakazam, like... It couldn't have even Psybeam. Yeah. I don't know what I want to... I Stab think... Confusion is still pretty good, even on Alakazam. I think I'm gonna try and force the Alakazam from here. Yeah. That has two special moves as opposed to one. It's nice that it learns, too. I think it learns at 8... 8.15 or something. Uh, I'm just gonna run this. Okay. Uh, that's interesting. Yeah, Chris has something pretty okay. The issue with what Chris just caused, it's pretty low level. It's crazy neither of you saw the thing we saw earlier. Uh, mm, both of probably. them saw an Espeon, which oh. is one of the best Pokemon in this game. Right, I have a Twisted Spoon. Here you go. <laughs> <laughs> Perfect. Slightly Alex helps now has three spoons. <laughs> yeah, Twisted Spoon is uh, gives an extra 12.5% boost to uh, his Psychic type moves. And since he's mainly going to use Confusion, it'll help a little bit. Well, that was nice. <laughs> easy first fight. Game's easy. <laughs> Just confused. Right. No problem. Yeah, there, there we go. I, I need a little bit of a level. Yeah. That works. So this is kind of the point where, like, you'll look at your moveset and you'll kind of figure out what walls you and what you kind of want to aim for. So this Alakazam is pretty hard walled by steel types. Uh, it doesn't really have anything for those. So... He's just gonna be like really hoping for either a fire type or maybe a water or electric move from Faulkner here. He's on Faulkner? Yeah, it just started. Oh my god, how did you Why get so far? You sound so shocked. I haven't even I'm, beaten the I'm first good trainer. At this game when I'm not running a Goldeen. Yeah, his All limiter's right. off uh, this race. You 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 awoken the beast. <laughs> <laughs> oh no wonder you didn't want to run this thing. Oh my yeah, goodness, this is horrible. Chris sucks, kind of sucks. So, yeah, yeah, no it's gonna, kidding. Gonna go down to the octillery. Which is a surprisingly good Pokemon. Uh, Octillery is pretty scary sometimes. Unless you crit it with a Jolteon. Jeez. Nice meme keys. <laughs> <laughs> I aim to please. Oh! I'm stupid. Nice. <laughs> I knew that was gonna happen. <laughs> I didn't think about that guy anymore. Yeah, it's kind of hard in Spinner Hell. Sometimes you just kind of forget about trainers once you pass them, but they can still hit you sometimes. It's pretty funny. Okay, so I'm sure somebody in chat's like, why did he go for that if he's already status? Well, I want the Alakazam to get the experience, so I wanted to take the faint there. I don't want to split the experience any more than I already just did. You know, the irony that this is an Alakazam, we were talking about Kadaver earlier. <laughs> yeah, Alakazam's one of the most runnable Pokemon. There's only maybe like, what, 30 Pokemon total that you'll ever really run in a Crystal Race. 
So you kind of see the same Pokemon over and over uh, as far as like what you run. If only I had a sleep move, I'd be so strong, dude! Is that Dream Eater? I didn't see. That was Dream Eater! Oh, man. Nothing like 150 power. <laughs> Plus the spoon, <laughs> so it'd be what, like 160 something? Ah, oh, that would be uh, so good. Yeah, it'd be like 170 something after, after oh all the God. boosts. Would have been so See, this good. spinner is trolling, Chris. He can't get a good pause. There he goes. Oh. Alright, got it. Okay, I'm only level 4. There's no way I can start at level 9 like this. Uh, maybe. Who knows? Sometimes you can YOLO it. So why do you all play with the toughest spinners out of curiosity? It's fun. Uh, just for the meme, really. Yeah, Pretty much. Meme, yeah. Basically. It's, it's an interesting thing. You can, you can only play the same game so many times without changing it up in some way. Yeah. This isn't like normally how you play. This is just one mode. There's there's so many different modes to Pokemon Randomizer, and what's nice about it is there's there's so many ways that you can do randomizers that uh, you can always find something that you enjoy. Uh, you can do a randomizer in really any Pokemon game. You can do Spinner Hell. You can do Metronome only. No experience. You can just do a standard, that's always a fun one. No XP. That's another option. There's so many different ways to race Pokemon uh, with Rando that, I mean, you'll definitely find something interesting to you. Now I'm not I'm not gonna be as save happy. I mean I, I blitzed last time anyway, but I'm not gonna be as save happy with dodging spinners with this Alakazam because it needs experience. Whereas yeah. the Goldeen, it, it's a it, it it just needed to not be a Goldeen. <laughs> yeah, there's kind of like different strats based off of what you're running and like what your needs are. So uh, sometimes you'll pick up extra TMs. For example, there's a TM in Union Cave. I don't think either of them got it last race. Yeah, uh, the, but... the only reason uh, that I didn't personally was because there's a, there's a spinner. Yeah, there's a spinner that blocks the TM, but he only has one Pokemon, so it's not that big a deal to hit him, but uh, you kind of... Don't want to risk a spinner if you don't have to. Oh, I'm trapped in the gym now. You can escape. Yeah, I know. Yeah, so that's that's why there's an escape button. You can see that spinner's completely blocking Chris's path out. Oh my god, Keys. What has what happened? I Earth? know, this is not the one that I want to dodge everything. What yeah, are you doing? It's funny, he kind of wants XP, so this is kind of the point where you might just do the trainer battles to get the TM and get XP. Sometimes it's worth doing. Looks like he's going to do that. All right, that's that's fine. Whatever. Yeah. <laughs> I'm going after the TM. <laughs> yeah, Keys will get the TM here, mostly for the XP, but, I mean, it's a free move. Uh, this Riot Kid can be scary, though. It, it'll be fine. Level. It'll be fine. Yeah, I've see seen nothing. it boom before. Oh, oh my nice goodness. crit. Oh, nice, please get that nice ring. Crit. Like, good okay. lord. Yeah. Should get level 11. I think this Alex Sam learns at 15. Pretty sure it's 16. 15. 16, okay. 16, yeah, 20, it's, it's 16, 18, 21. Oh, yeah. That was, a, that was awkward. You you hit a point with Alakazam where you learn like three moves really close together, which is super nice. I'm learning Bubble Beam. Let's go. Yeah, Dragonite's oh, okay. got a slightly better water move, which is helpful. It was kind of walled oh, by the Dragonite. Rock. Uh, yeah. I stomped it and, it and I crit it. I was going to try <laughs> and run it, but... <laughs> yeah, it took oh. me a while to find it. Oh, Those that's gonna swipes. probably kill. That's unfortunate. Okay. You can probably clutch it with something else. I'm gonna do double main. Yeah. Dual main's always viable early on as well. You can kind of just use your whole team to do fights. Especially if you have a couple level fives and sixes like ah, Chris does. I see this guy just has a Dodrio on fire. It was a sur uh, it was a sh swift uh, Charizard. <laughs> he he's trying to pull a me, idiot. Okay, looks like I have to use escape function and use the center here. Yeah. Sometimes you just have to leave. His team got kind of wiped. And Key's gonna save before the last spinner there. Oh, you did. screw Anthony. <laughs> yeah, Anthony is <laughs> terrifying. <laughs> Anthony's like one of the worst spinners. He he's an actual run killer in the vanilla game. I think your run's, like, guaranteed over if you hit him or something. Nowadays, yeah. Back then, um, if you caught an early polywag, you stood a chance. Not anymore. 
Yeah, I think it you literally lose your run in Glitchless if you hit them in non-rando and just like standard or whatever. Also, two irons this run made money free. That was the easiest buy I've ever seen. <laughs> just press right. Press right and press, <laughs> press right. right. Yeah. I don't need 11 repels, but I mean, I got the money. doesn't matter. Yeah, just I faster. To, I was tempted to buy the charcoal just to give a shout out to Mamgar. <laughs> yeah. Don't use so, Dragon Breath. So, Chris and Keys and even uh, Shen, when did y'all start running uh, Crystal Randomizer? Um, I started probably doing in... like a basic randomizer of it back in like 2015, I want to say. I think for me it was uh, 20... 2014, my first one probably. I think I'm the oldest. That was 2013, but I don't know if I did Crystal specifically back then. I definitely did a few, but not, not mainly. So you all have been in the community for a while. Is there any place you, where you would recommend people get in touch with people from the community if they have questions about the randomizer, for instance, or they want to participate in the races? Where would you send them? Um, no. It's kind of weird with the randomizer community. Yeah. There's not really like a, a Discord for Pokemon randomizer speedruns, but... Uh, I mean, everyone has a kind of like a community channel. I know Keyzron has randomizer talk in his, I do in mine, and I think Chris does in his as well. But I think uh, the most central hub for anything randomizer related with Pokemon is probably the Crystal Bingo channels. Yeah, uh, there, there's a there's a Discord for Crystal Bingo, and that that you can find a lot of like there's a there's Emerald testing going on in there right now too. Look at that. Oh, okay, and they were just hit it. But yeah, there's. Uh, you can probably find a link for that, but uh, there's not like a ton of like a centralized randomizer Discord or like you know a hub for everything. But uh, there's definitely a lot of races that go on, and you can always join. You can also like ask in chats for people doing bingos. Sometimes they'll let anyone join. And that being said, too, please follow, you know, Shen, uh, Chris, and Keys. They're all wonderful streamers. I would highly recommend all three of them, and they do this quite often in their streams. And also, I believe Chris also does uh, SM64. Yes? Yes. SM64 SM rando? We're doing the SM I do anything rando, SM64 and Pokemon specifically. Someone, someone in chat who's smart should make me a Robopon randomizer. Thank you. Ooh. Oh. Wait, you would run Robopon again? I would do Robopon randomize. If there's Robopon speed choice, heck yeah. Dang. What about the Animorphs randomizer? So, uh, yeah, be sure to follow Chris and me <laughs> <laughs> for high quality content. Like, like Animorphs randomizer. Yeah. It, 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 Right. <laughs> right, about that. Uh, dude, I feel like after the GDQ, the Animorphs community is going to be revived. It's going to be great. I'm going to be I'm going to be so busy with the three extra submissions I'll get on the leaderboards. <laughs> yeah, there, there's a there's a fun little GDQ lore story for everyone. So uh, after the after the first Animorphs run, uh, we actually had somebody look into some of the disassembly of the game and they found a password within the game that has no reference anywhere. There's no reference for it on the internet. There are no guides about it or anything like that. And it was a password for a secret fifth level that was intended to be the final level of the game. And that's what, uh, that's what this GDQ run is going to feature. That's what the 125% part means. <laughs> that name is so stupid. So... <laughs> Well, the meme was Keyzeron completed the first ever 75% run at... World record. ...at HPDQ. <laughs> so wait, if you finish 75% of 125%, what, what's that percentage? That's, that's, uh, we'll just give it a nice even 100, so... <laughs> so, Keys, if someone were to watch your channel right now, what else would they get besides Rando, uh, Crystal Rando? Well, my channel's definitely primarily more crystal and emerald randomizer and stuff, but you can also find me do stuff like Fire Emblem 7, the, the first Fire Emblem that came out for the US. I do mm -hmm. that both vanilla and uh, randomized, which randomized is really interesting. Um, you can also occasionally catch me trying to play Magic the Gathering Arena because my Senpai Sky Bills got me <laughs> into it. <laughs> yeah, I'm a bad uh, example for you there. Terrible in terms of example. Speed How dare terrible you? Terrible example, yeah. Um, 
every every day before <clears throat> the um, the first step, you'll see me playing the game that we're gonna do on the first step. So usually that's every Wednesday, but this week around it's gonna be Thursday because we're moved to Friday this time around. But so you get to see a variety of games that way too. This Dragonite's kicking my butt, and I'm not happy. And Keith, so, will you be practicing Animorphs in anticipation of GDQ? I will be practicing Animorphs in anticipation for Awesome Games Done Quick 2020 in oh Orlando, Florida. That will be a treat, everybody. I even wrote notes. What? Wow. What? Wow. <laughs> I have notes. <laughs> I dedicate them. Someone spent more than five minutes playing Animorphs? What? It's true. Hey, Shen, <laughs> do you want to tell the story of Animorphs? I can break into the lore, why not? So, uh, Animorphs was pulled out of a bin at random by me at, at AGDQ 2015, I think. Uh, and it's just a really crappy Pokemon knockoff. Um, and I, I decided to look up if there's any information on this game. So I looked up, like, Animorphs Game Boy Color or whatever, and the only video that existed at the time was... Animorphs Let's Play Part 1. I don't remember the YouTube channel. And then their, the very next video they posted was like Fire Emblem Part 1. It's They just completely gave up on Animorphs after one episode. <laughs> so I started speedrunning just the first level because I couldn't even figure out how to beat the other ones. And then myself and Key spent a day beating it at the next GDQ. And from there, it uh, became one of the hottest speed games of 2015. <laughs> what what cracked me up about when we beat it as well was the <laughs> fact that uh, at the time it, it was late at night and anybody who's ever noticed like the crowd cam for a GDQ or anyone who's ever been at a GDQ, <laughs> a lot of times the graveyard shifts don't have a ton of people in the actual streaming room. Like you'll have people watching obviously and a lot of people will watch in their hotel room because they want to lay down. But there weren't that many people in the live audience at the time. I think we actually had more people in the practice room watching me and Shen popping off beating the game for the first time in the history of ever. Yeah, I legit think that there were probably about 50 people watching Animorphs be completed for the first time in history. Because, let's be real, it's never been completed before we did. Nobody's ever beat the game, please. <laughs> I remember so, you were you were like walled on the second the second missions <laughs> mini game because you thought that like the stalactites had a hitbox and they don't, they don't have a hitbox. <laughs> yeah. Keys, you called uh, me a bad example, but you got Shen to play Animorphs. He got me to play Animorphs. No, I got him to play. Oh, okay, yeah, it was the other way around. All right. Yeah. So we were talking about uh, Kizaran's new show, which I do want to actually get into that in a little bit. But as a quick reminder as well, we are having a spoopy Halloween uh, day here on GDQ Hot Fix on Thursday on Halloween. And there looks like a ton of great games here. We have Layers of Fear 2, Resident Evil 2, Resident Evil 4, Silent Hill 2 and 4, Resident Evil 7, Clock Tower 3, and Silent Hill 3. So if y'all want your fix of Halloween games, Thursday is going to be a great time for that. Or if you just want to be scared because there's a bad game going on, check out Kizaron's Animorphs run coming up <laughs> at ATDQ 2020. Now that is a bonus game. So again, we were joking about you paid for it. Well, that is a bonus game, which has to have money put towards in order to unlock that bonus game. So when you're thinking about bonus games and if you want to see a horrifying game like Animorphs as well, that is a great one. So Keys, I did want to talk about your show a little bit if you want to uh, say what it is because it is still fairly new and really interesting given the games we were talking about beforehand that you and j Hobbs have learned so far. Right, yeah, so uh, my show is called The First Step and as mentioned, uh, it's myself and j Hobbs. So the purpose of the first step is we've had a lot of people personally, and we've also heard a lot of stories from other speedrunners of just regular people coming up to them and asking, how do I get into speedrunning? Uh, what do I have to do? What does it take? And, you know, equipment aside, which that can be a barrier every now and again, um, the biggest barrier of entry into speedrunning is literally just picking up the game and doing it. So what j Hobbs and I have been doing is we've been looking at games that we've been interested in playing or learning as a speed run or just anything in general that's recommended a uh, good good example being untitled goose game and we'll play it for eight hours maximum because we're trying to one avoid burnout and two make it so we're kind of on equal playing ground and then we have a four hour limit 
every Thursday at 7 p.m. Eastern here on the Games on Quick channel to either beat the other person in a race or make it the furthest before the four hour limit is done. We've only hit the four hour limit once and that was in Mario of all things. And that's because we we kind of we kind of took a tall task of trying to uh, beat all of Mario and Luigi as our first speed run of the game. But it's it's really fun if you like seeing people pretend that they're going fast when really they're just casually playing it. <laughs> Look no further than the first step. Also, uh, it's not supposed to be competitive, but apparently Kizron is keeping a running tally of who is winning versus it's who is not It's two to two. Winning. The minute Hop starts winning, he's going to be like, oh, who cares, it's just casual, you know? Keys will be competitive about everything the day he dies. It's true. And then I, I, I actually uh, uh, like that's a funny story. I think there was actually one time where I, I want to say it was it was either me and Hobbs or me and Spike, but like we went to an all you can eat place and we just kept seeing who could eat the most food. <laughs> Everything Why? Was a competition. That's dangerous against Spike. Mm hmm. I didn't win. I can tell you that much. I'm a I'm a lanky boy. <laughs> So, I did want to, I know we glossed over this a little bit, but Chris, um, what else do you stream besides Crystal Randomizer here? And then we talked about SM64 Random. What else do you do? Um, lately, I've been doing a lot of uh, Mario ROM hacks, Mario 64 ROM hacks, Pokemon, any kind of Pokemon randomizer, even if I'm not racing people. Um, I am excited to play Luigi's Mansion because that comes out tomorrow. Uh, generally, whenever Nintendo releases something new, I usually give it a try. He's a, he's a big Pikmin boy too. I like Pikmin games, yeah. You've been pretty big on the uh, like no XP challenges as well. I think you've done yeah. Gold, I, um... I I try to beat every Pokemon game, vanilla and randomized, uh, without gaining experience, and it's always a it's always a fun challenge to figure out. So if you like that, check it out. <laughs> um, so a couple of questions. We'll get back to what's randomized in this run in a second because we should do another recap of that. But real quick, uh, do any of you all do Nuzlocke runs? Because that is pretty interesting and I've seen a couple people try it in frustration and uh, to their better judgment. So how have uh, everybody's Nuzlocke runs gone here? Because I've seen uh, three of you have done one. I personally think Nuzlocke's are too easy. Yeah. Because the, the rule set is basically if a Pokemon faints you get on, can't use it anymore, so you would just play, like, if, if it's just about completing the challenge without a time limit, you would just grind a lot of fights, get levels, so it's safe. And I don't think that's very fun. I've done quite a few Nuzlocke, but they've all been by accident, because it just happened to catch something and it doesn't die during a random race. <laughs> yeah. Sometimes I, I we think, follow I the rules. I think something like Nuzlocke would be a little more fun with, with different rules and restrictions, but kind of like what Chris said, just the basic crux of Nuzlocke is not something that I personally do. Not with Pokemon, anyway. Uh, with, with Fire Emblem, there's a neat little challenge called Iron Man, which is basically like Nuzlocke for Fire Emblem. And that, that's something that I do. Oh, fun fact, though, the first stream I've ever done on Twitch back in 2013 was a Pokemon randomizer Nuzlocke challenge. So, still just doing the same stuff six years later. <laughs> nice. <laughs> so, a real quick rundown here for people just tuning in. And by the way, thank you again, everybody, here for your support so far. Uh, Shen, what is a basic rundown of the flags that we're using for tonight's randomizer races? Yeah, sure. So, uh, the goal is to beat Morty, which is the fourth gym leader. Uh, coming up, they're actually pretty close on this race. They're about to fight the third gym leader. But, yeah, they want to beat Morty as fast as they can. And... The game is randomized, so you'll know this Mantine's using Zap Cannon and Suicune's using Bite. Uh, so all the Pokemon will have randomized moves. Uh, the items on the ground are all random. The Pokemon in the grass are all random. Trainer Pokemon are random. Just several aspects of the game get randomized with this. And you'll also notice all the spinners in the game are spinning like crazy. It's because we're in Spinner Hell mode, which uh, makes this every four frames, every trainer in the game will spin which is where they just like rotate and look to a different direction. Uh, and they also all have max range, so they can hit you from five tiles away, which is sometimes off screen, so at least some pretty hilarious moments. You can see Keystron being very cautious here because <laughs> there's two <laughs> people following him. And Erwin gets him for four Pokemon, so uh, that'll be a bit lovely. annoying. Is that and past? Is that in hell? Or where is yeah, he? Yeah, he's in hell right now. Oh, uh, okay, okay. 
Shen, would you like to talk a little bit about your stream? You know, we always hear from the runners, but sometimes the commentators do just as interesting as the runs, if not even more interesting. So Shen, I know you do Pokemon Crystal Randomizer. I know you do a lot of Pokemon games because whenever there is a couch at a GDQ, I always see you <laughs> on it for Pokemon and you just have this vast knowledge of it. So do you want to go into what else you stream as well? And again, please follow all three of these fantastic people, 360, Curzum, Keys, and Shen. Go ahead. Yeah, I'm mostly, well, right now I'm working on mostly Gen 1. I'm doing uh, 124, which is all Pokemon glitchless, uh, not randomized. So just default Pokemon Blue, catch all 124 possible available Pokemon. Uh, just beat the record in that a couple days ago, trying to improve it now. Uh, other than that, I just, I do a lot of rando and a bunch of random uh, Gen 1 stuff, a bunch of meme categories, that sort of thing. All Be TX, beating, baby. Beating Brock with Venusaur. Oh, yeah. <laughs> beating Brock with Venusaur. Don't forget 70 Star, you. Yeah, 70 Star, you. That was a great race. Pokemon Blue 70 Star, you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we we did race that in Pokemon Let's Go. That was yeah, we time. did it in Let's Go, too. Yeah, no BLJs allowed. Even though no there's <laughs> BLJ in Pokemon, but, you know, wasn't allowed. So I'm just hitting literally every trainer right now. This sucks. At least you're finally getting some XP on that Alakazam. You're Chris, so far you, ahead, did you win yet? I'm. I just exited the forest, dude. Yeah, he's out of the forest what? now. <laughs> Dragonite's I've having some so, issues. I've hit so many trainers in Spinner Hell that it's just going to be faster to go through instead of Death Warp. <laughs> yeah, you kind of hit that point where it's better to just go back. Especially if I think you've only dodged two, right? Uh, yeah, I dodged, uh, I dodged the Fire Breather, and then I dodged, uh, uh, the very first one. Yeah, the one Pokemon trainer, so yeah, you'll probably just backtrack. It's kind of silly in, uh, Spinner Hell, you usually opt to go through the park. <laughs> DG Danny Phantom, whoa! <laughs> yes, the, the, this is a good question. Um, are you going, all going to catch sword or shield first that's a really good question because there is hype surrounding those games coming out so i'm i, I actually la, have la, both, la, 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 both like <laughs> <laughs> he doesn't oh. want to hear it spoilers <laughs> Ooh. oh I, I wasn't gonna go in anything shen i, I was just yeah. saying that uh i uh i have both pre-ordered already so i'm pretty much just gonna have a fun little bid war in my personal channel on which i should play first uh, I'm gonna go with Sword because of the exclusive Pokemon that were announced for it. I'm not sure which one I'll pick. I'll just randomly pick one based off the box art, probably. Um, <laughs> but I'll Solid. pick both up for speedrunning just in case one of them's faster. I like to speedrun the new games just once, and if I like it, I'll run it more. But you never know which one will be faster for speedruns. You know, Hal Kazam, you've been you've been doing me pretty solid so far. I like this. It's a this is a vast change of pace compared to the Goldie. Did you check the TMs by the way, Keys are on? I did not. I'm I'm happy okay. enough with my move set. There isn't there isn't very much that stops me. Like I, I can still get stopped by like steals, but the the only steal that really scares me at this point in time is Skarmory. Mm hmm Because even though I even though I don't have good attack, I have magnitude, so the TMs were pretty nutty. I can spoil them because you won't go back. I think one yeah, was not... Bolt. I think one was Psychic and one was T-Bolt. <laughs> Keys, they're still talking about Goldene. They're what? still talking about Goldene. Talk about something else. Oh, uh, they'll talk about Kadabra if they do that. So what? You about do realize, that? like, Kadabra's my meme. People are gonna make Goldene yours now. You're probably. Oh. In trouble. Oh no. You're gonna be playing Fire Emblem, and someone's gonna be like, "Why'd you dump the Goldeen?" It's like, <laughs> no, why? All right, so uh, I, I think it's funny that this trainer that I hit normally has three Jigglypuffs, but so far we've seen two Yanma. Good randomizer. <laughs> um, who is technically winning right now, Shen? Oh, Keys for uh, sure. Keith for sure, right now. All right, looks like we may have a we may have a tag going into the third game here. Maybe. Yeah. Maybe. Chris might have to. Step it up next race. This has been kind of a blowout here. Uh, you calling I, out, I, Chris? 
Oh, he bullies uh, me all I the time. Always, I will always call out somebody who's getting blown out. Don't worry about it. Wow. Friendly reminder that he has a coffee mug of me blindfolded. Okay, no, that was a that was a gift for my parents. That was a Christmas <laughs> gift. I, I feel like we need context. Controlled. We need context here. This is not sounding good. Yeah, so. Okay. So. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Go you want to tell her or do you want me to? <laughs> you, go ahead. You, you earned it. You, you go right. ahead. My family, like, whenever we do Christmas, we just get each other a bunch of meme gifts. So, for example, this year, I got a Jake Paul poster, <laughs> a, brick, a brick that my mom painted the word Supreme on, and then a potato. And that's what I got for Christmas this year. Uh, we, just ha we just goof off, have fun. Um, one year, they got me a coffee mug of the GDQ screen, the moment I beat Keys in the blindfolded race. <laughs> so I just have a coffee mug of the moment that I beat Keys. You know, Shunt, a lot of parents have like, you know, proud parent of an honor roll student. You get proud parent of a person who beat Keys in a blindfolded oh, race. Yeah. I mean, where's the sticker for that on the bumper, you know? <laughs> Pretty much. I won the oh. only race that ever mattered. Keys was not in the Guinness Book of World Records 2017 Gamer Edition. <laughs> it could have been. <laughs> so, I, I don't know. Is it just me? I mean, it's the fact that it came from your parents. So your parents uh, watch a lot of your speedrunning then and support this then because obviously they were so proud that you were able to beat Keys around in that race and they just wanted to capture that moment. Oh, yeah. Oh, I hit all of them. I, no, I, I, just like uh, to, I have some great I, parents. Very supportive. I'd like to point out something that's a little off topic, but uh, because I'm using OBS, I, I see my channel's chat. And uh, Volshock Sorcerer, I saw you add that command. He added oh. a command <laughs> to my bot that says, why not run the Goldeen? <laughs> Dude, I love the trainer in Whitney's gym when she hits you when you're at the top. <laughs> yeah. And she just, like, plows her way through. Uh, I just Keith. decided not to teach body slam. Keys, I think you effed up something. Just the heads up. Oh, shoot, you're right. Um, so this is another good question. What stuff should I look forward to in Sword and Shield? I haven't heard much about it, and I'm gonna get it because it's Pokemon. So what are you looking forward to the most based on spoilers so far? For oh, I'm gonna Sword definitely Shield. cover back. <laughs> Uh, I've I've actually stayed like I haven't gone on my way to dodge spoilers, but I've stayed pretty blind to it. So I'm just I'm just gonna let whatever happens happens. Yeah, I'm the same way. I'm not like super trying to dodge any spoilers, but I like to go into the new games as blind as I can. Hey, to that person that gifted an anonymous uh, anonymously gifted a sub the Goldeen, give them a GDQ sub as well. I don't like how my chat's memeing right now. Go, stay, stay in this channel. What are you doing? <laughs> Someone in my chat, uh, well, Kadabra, the Twitch account name Kadabra has been subbed to me for six months at tier ha! three. And they finally came <laughs> to my stream like two days ago and immediately got banned. <laughs> so what you're saying is, Keys, I need to find you a Goldeen plush. Does that sound mm. about right to you? Mm, I... Oh. I'm gonna start loosely using uh -oh. the friend now. Oh boy, Chris. Yeah, uh, do you I have just... repels? You probably have the money. Oh, okay. I'm, I'm level three. What is happening? <laughs> oh, okay. Uh, that wasn't that bad, was it? No, I, I, I tried to do Death Warp, but I never entered the center, so I was back in Azalea. Oh, oh so yeah, you have to re-dodge, I see. I was trying to figure out what the situation was. Yeah, yeah he just cool. has to re-dodge the spinner. Could save there. Okay, you just got it. Nice. Oh, so here's a fun little history lesson uh, about Spinner Hell. So we never used to have this nice, like, quality of life ROM that we refer to as Speed Choice to get a bunch of options. I'm sure yeah. a lot of you have seen, like, there's a bunch of options that we set before we start the game. Uh, back then, it was a very specific ROM that only had Spinner Hell. And while it doesn't sound too <laughs> intimidating or egregious, uh, this rival fight, he spun and had vision. And if you didn't step on the tile that I just stepped on and he saw you, the game would crash. Yeah, it used to be a legitimate game crash if you didn't get lucky and avoided. Uh, there are the a couple rival. of races that Shen and I did where we both had to give each other game shark codes to walk through uh -huh. walls because we were stuck. Yep, that was good times. You should beat the Kimono Girls for the meme. 
I yeah, mean, you have time. You're, you're, just, you're still gonna beat me by five minutes. <laughs> Chris just wants the race to look close. All right, very well. I no, just entered no the gym. Chris. I just entered the gym, dude. How, how, how'd your spinner hell go? I Not beat good. all of them except two. Oof. Yeah, Chris kind of had a hard time getting a Pokemon early on, and it you like really feel it in Crystal. I didn't think it, I spent that much time, but he he's must have uh, I quickly chanced made a the decision. Alakazam, otherwise, I was gonna try the Jolteon. Was it the first thing you caught? It was the second thing I caught. The first thing I caught was the Kingdra, just so I could name it. Chris sucks. <laughs> <laughs> so another good question here: uh, What were the first shinies y'all ever caught? Ever caught besides the red Gyarados? Uh, well, besides that, yeah, that's uh, the default one. And then there were the same. There was another person who did ask about shinies uh, if they were ever found during a GDQ. So if you know that, that would be great as well because I'm not sure. Yeah. Etiquette found a shiny in his Let's Go run. Yep, shiny, uh, shiny Radicate. Yeah. yeah, Mansion. Uh, probably like what two hours thirty into the run, roughly. Yeah. I think that's about when they go to the Mansion. Uh, yeah, he found a shiny Radicate on the bottom floor. The first shiny I ever found was I played through Pokemon Leaf Green a bunch of times as a kid and I found a level 64 electrode in Mewtwo Cave. And it took me about eight turns to catch it. And then I checked its moveset and I realized it had explosion, but it never used it. So I was very thankful <laughs> for that. Yeah. Oh, wow. Uh, the That's first non Gyarados awesome. shiny that I got was uh, a Kangaskhan in oh, Fire wow. Red. So wow. my friend had leaf green and he caught it. And I guess like we, we were, we were both hanging out and I guess he never noticed that it was shiny and he had a sound off cause we were listening to music. So we never heard the shiny animation or saw it and he caught it and I needed it from my decks. And he's like, oh yeah, just keep it. So oh. I, I get the Kangaskhan and then three days later, I look at its stats and see if I want to use it to like train it up or something. And I noticed there were the three stars in the corner, and I was like, what the heck does that mean? And <laughs> I, I, look, I looked, and it's like, shiny Pokemon. I'm like, wait, those are in this game, too? And then I looked at the normal sprite, and I'm like, oh, yeah, I guess that's shiny. <laughs> so I robbed my friend of his shiny <laughs> that he got from Safari Zone. That's kind of nuts. Uh, I... My first shiny was a shiny Scyther from oh. the bug catching contest. I didn't even know as Whoa. a kid, because... It had like the cool, re like shiny Scyther in Gen 2. It's completely the same except all the like white little bits on it are red. Like it's kind of hard to notice. But I was like, that's so weird. I have a red Scyther. That's awesome yeah. because that's hard Never to catch too in the, in the contest. Yeah, I won the contest with it, so I got to keep it too. Huh? What happened? Oh no. Because I oh, reset no. or the death threats, I didn't get talk to the Squirtle. I have to. Cor Passed through hell like six times. He's, uh, <laughs> I'm not even gonna bother saving. You wanna get uh, hidden power for Morty? I, I can't believe that when it doesn't matter and I didn't save, I dodged the five trainer. This game's lame. <laughs> Y'all have all these exciting stories. All I did was find a bell sprout randomly while I was playing silver, just that regular silver. Oh, that's sweet. Bell sprout's pretty cool. Yeah, I didn't even know it was shiny. I was about to run away from it, and I noticed it was red, and I'm like, what is this? And, you know, I don't want to date myself too horribly, but that was back before, like, there was a lot of stuff on the internet, so... Yeah. You know, you just kind of had, you know, Nintendo power back then. Mm-hmm. It's like, who knows? It's kind of hard to, like, know that when you're a kid. It's like, why is the color different? It's as rare as it is. I think my second or third attempt of speedrunning Crystal ever, I ran into a shiny Sentry when I didn't have any balls to catch it with. <laughs> yeah. No. I've been there before as well. I think mine was uh, shiny Pidgey in gold. Aww. No balls to catch it. Are you on Morty now? Sure I am. I got two pokes to go. Yeah, I was about to say, I think this is Morty. Time's coming up. Did unless, you beat the you know. uh, Kimono Girls? Yes. Oh, thank you. Yep. <laughs> you did? I beat the Kimono Girls. I taught surf. <laughs> I'm not even going to make it to Sudo Wudo. <laughs> Just uh, call time once you're, once you're done, please. <laughs> Chris has had yep, a yep. pretty rough race. So it looks like, though, we're going to have a tie, though, going into game three. This is cool. I, All I of the him, bragging I let rights. him have the false hope. That's why I stuck with the Goldeen. <laughs> I feel like this is like when Hungrybox loses, like, 
the first and game time. in pools. Yeah, time. Time. All and right. Uh, ooh, Forty-seven eleven for keys. Well done. GG. Yeah, that's All okay. Right. I, I guess. I guess I'm gonna check the shiny because it's up to me. Oh, yeah. <laughs> wow, Shane going should've... into game three. <laughs> we probably should have made so it just bad for me. I beat every trainer in Spinner Hell and the round after. Can you hit one of the trainers in the park just to say you hit literally every trainer? <laughs> I can't believe you hit everyone there. It's so Except rare. that the, the juggler and the fire guy. I didn't. I guess you did the rare five times pass of Spinner Hell. Yeah. Oh, this. This trainer, come on. Oh yeah, he gets you from max range. It's okay, we're like a minute and a half away from the shiny. Yeah, it's nice, like... You get the shiny early enough that you can, like, kind of race to it. It's kind of cool in this game. Oh my god, Chris, why? The juggler. <laughs> and me! <laughs> I think we're ready for race number three. Yeah, Keys is grabbing the shiny. Not the shiny yeah, yeah, Keys is gonna check horses. out. Yeah, Keys is gonna check out the shiny, and then we're going to go to a quick blurb and then a quick break, and then we will go into race three after the break. Can we get some guesses on what the shiny is going to be, everybody? Just spam chat with what you think it'll be. I'm gonna go with Dunspars. Oh, that sounded weak. Wait, what route is he going through the water? Oh, Seedra. Oh, wow, that's cool. actually really cool. Yeah, it does. Some Chinese look like garbage in this gen for some reason. What is up with Seedra and Kingdra during these races? I just, I don't, I don't understand that. <laughs> it needs to go away. <laughs> All right, so real quick here, before we go into race three, remember GDQ Hotfix is brought to you by viewers like you. If you are enjoying tonight's show and the other programs of GDQ Hotfix, please consider subbing to the channel. If you have Amazon Prime, remember you have access to a free sub. Please consider using that sub here to support the channel. So we are going to take a quick break. We will be right back with race three, and we're going to get to see the rubber match between Chrism and Kizaron. We will be right back, folks. All right, welcome back to GDQ Hotfix. This is episode three of Random Number Generation. I'm Skybills, your host, and here we have 360 Chrism, Keys are on Racing, with shenanigans on commentary. Thank you all so much again for being here. And again, please make sure to give all three of them a follow. They are all fantastic, great ambassadors of the Pokemon Rando community. I am so happy to have them here, and we're going to get race three underway. Are y'all ready? Let's do it. All right, let's this go. is the rubber match. This is for all the marbles right here. So let's go. Three, two, one, meme. Yes. See, I remember. <laughs> there you go. So happy yeah. remember. I remember. Everything that was for you right. all. That I did was, not remember. That was for you all. All right, just saying. Oh, that felt like a natural countdown. Yeah, to us. now I feel like I'm actually playing the game. That's why That's why uh, Keys is having trouble in that first race. Yeah. I know he was a race yet. Now I'm alive and awake, let's go. Something I don't know if we pointed out, you can pick different times in this game, so I don't know if either we pick night time, but night by far looks the best in Crystal. I played oh, all three races in different times. Okay, nice. So you, they did get to see night time at least one time? Yeah, on the first one I played night time. It's right. like dark mode for Pokemon. <laughs> it's really so good. it's gonna be oh. Goldeen, Seedra, and Alakazam, right? Well, you were close on one of them. Uh, there's one that they will most likely be picking Oh, here. yeah, Th this is for you, Shen. Hey, yeah. Gengar, uh, one of the best Pokemon in Rando. Not as good in Gen 2 as it is in Gen 1, but still a fantastic Pokemon. Oh, uh, he's the best one to use in a Gen 1 metronome race. Hands, yeah. hands down, bar none. It's crazy. Gengar's busted in Gen 1. Still really good in Gen 2, just not quite as good because... One, you're kind of lacking the special stat, which is special defense and attack in Gen 1. But then uh, most moves in Gen 1 are normal types, so they just can't even hit you. There's a bit more move diversity in Gen 2. I made it past the first two tiles for the first time all day. We'll see I... if the same is a move set. This might be the first time they don't have to catch. Uh, no, they're catching. <laughs> <laughs> most <laughs> likely. <laughs> it's pretty bad. Um, again, move set matters usually a lot more than Pokemon, so... 
Even though it is a Gengar, which is really good, the moveset's trash, so they're probably gonna have to oh, catch something controller, here. Controller, please. Oh my goodness. <laughs> well, the complaint about Gengar also is that it's part poison, and that has always been a vulnerability of Gengars. You know, you get hit by Psychic really hard, you get hit by Earthquake really hard. It's just something that makes Gengar yeah. just fall so easily. It's kind of weird. It's also sometimes a blessing, especially in Randomizer, because you can't be poisoned as a poison type. So you don't have to buy antidotes, and that can help out. So it's, even though it's like, also a fantastic typing to have for Gen 1 randomizers. Yeah, for sure. Because uh, when you run into a trainer that has quote unquote good AI, the way that Gen 1 handles good AI is if it has if the move has a type effectiveness against you, it's going to use it. So if you're running something like a Gengar or a Venusaur or anything like that, and they have like agility or barrier, they're going to spam that and not attack you at all. Yeah, so again, it makes Gengar even better than it would be in Gen 1. Uh, Gen 2, it's still pretty good. AI works a lot differently in this game, so you don't have the, you don't have the like, quote-unquote good AI, aka bad AI, but uh, yeah, it's still solid. Chris, again, with the instant potential main find. So what kind of moves do you all look for in a starter Pokémon? Um, coverage is really important, and then also something that's at least mid-range in terms of power. Uh, if I find something halfway decent with, like, Psybeam, Aurora Beam, something like that, where it's not the strongest typing of that of that move type, but it's still serviceable, it's usually, like, 50 or 60-plus power, then that's, that's something that really stands out for me. Uh, normal types in Gen 2 are probably the most busted thing you can get, because... You can get Headbutt, which is super duper powerful. And as Shen mentioned a couple of races ago, uh, normal type Headbutt will get Stab on a normal type. So you have a 105 power move all of a sudden. And he can flinch very often. Yeah, 30% flinch. to flinch. So one out of three times your opponent attacks, they just can't. So it's huge. That's, that's why um, I learned Body Slam by level up last race, but I kept Headbutt even though it's a little less mm -hmm. powerful just because of the flinch. Yeah, the flinch can be huge. Yeah, the flinch is going to save you more time than the body slam is going to because it's 30% to paralyze with body slam. So you have to deal with the paralysis animation and then you'll have to deal with, oh, this Pokemon is paralyzed. It can't do anything. Whereas with headbutt, it's just an instant, oh, it flinched or it gets a yeah. move, one or the other. There's no ifs, ands, or buts. The animation also kind of sucks on paralysis. It takes yeah. a while to play through it. Um, Yeah, usually like coverage matters the most. So... We talk about coverage a lot. Uh, it just basically refers to being able to hit everything. So if you only have, you know, a water and a fire move, you're gonna any any time a water type shows up, you're just gonna be hurting because you just can't hit it for even neutral effectiveness. But if you have, for example, like an electric move and an ice move, you hit everything in the game for at least neutral with one of the two moves. So you don't have to worry about oh. like having only not very effective moves. Oh man, I didn't know it was a speed tie. Oh, that sucks. Yeah, a speed tie happened still fine it's just you have to make up the xp somewhere else it's just unfortunate um if pokemon have equal speed it's just 50 50 who goes first and unluckily i thought uh, i was just Chris faster because it. the first the first two times i hit first i didn't know it was a speed tie yeah he won the first two ties and lost the last one it's just unfortunate still fine he still has a good pokemon just yeah i could have gotten two levels XP. but it's okay yeah i think he's just still gonna try and catch something he may blitz to the next route as well who knows uh, we'll, see what his we'll strategy see. is. We'll see how this goes. I saw yeah. something I, I wouldn't mind running. Oh, well, it's not you. All right, bye. <laughs> <laughs> uh, something else, uh, when you're like looking for a main, there's a pretty big difference between physical and special. Um, generally, you want to run something that's like more favors one of the two types and gets moves on that side. Like, for example, if you have a Gengar with, I don't know, Earthquake, Body Slam, and Rock Slide, it's not that runnable even though it has like a really good move set with really good coverage you're just not hitting on its attack type that works and generally special pokemon are better than physical pokemon gen uh, 2 is probably the rare case pokemon. where you'd probably want a physical over a special just because yeah. of the normal type thing but for sure gen 1 you want special more than physical because it's one stat as opposed to two buying x specials is infinitely cheaper than buying x items um 
And then Gen 3 onwards, there's Intimidate to worry about for physical attackers, whereas special attackers don't have to worry about an ability like that. Mm -hmm. Same with Burn. Burn halves your attack, which is really annoying for physical attackers, especially with uh, there being so many high Burn chance moves in this game. They added Flame Wheel, which is 30% to Burn, and Sacred Fire, which is 50% to Burn. Just really annoying to deal with. Y'all are making me wish that Soul Silver and Heart Gold were on uh, the Switch because it's been so long since we've seen a Gold Silver game. <laughs> yeah, I guess isn't that's... Vital Throw negative priority? Yeah. Yes. Okay, I went first anyway, so whatever happened there. <laughs> uh, counter is more negative priority than Vital Throw. It probably countered. Okay, good thing I one shot it. Counter or Mirror Coat. Or, yeah, Mirror Coat, that's all. Or a mirror move, I guess, would have also done it. Yeah, there's like a priority list of moves. Um, extreme speed's plus two priority. Protects even more priority than I think is plus four in this game. Um, quick attacks plus one. And then there's some negative priority moves, like counter. It just means like the order. So even if your Pokemon's faster, if you use a move like counter, you'll go last. Can be kind of weird in this game. Uh, sometimes you'll like suddenly be faster than something. Uh, there's also the Quick Claw in Gen 2, and sometimes a wild Pokemon will just have the Quick Claw attached. It'll freak you out because suddenly it's faster and it can kill you. It's kind of crazy. I've had that happen once or twice, where I'm just suddenly slower because the wild Pokemon had uh, whatever it is, Quick Claw. Hey, Shen, it's your favorite Pokemon. <laughs> nice. I'll be sure to call out all the Goldeens I see from now on. Ugh. You're going to name one of those keys around too if you ever catch one. <laughs> Man, I, I... Razor, otherwise, I hope you're having better luck having a main than me. Uh, oh, right now? Are you still yeah. struggling? Yeah, I don't have a main. You still um, on the, uh, the Gengar? I'm on the Probably Gengar challenge. I got a pretty good one, I would say. Yeah. Better than the Dragonite last race. <laughs> He's got, arguably, I'd say the best Pokemon for Gen 2 Crystal. For uh, Rando. It's one of the best for sure. That sounds like Zapdos or Tauros or something. You did oh. mention it. <laughs> you did mention it. Yeah, there's kind of like a... I'm not teaching teleport. <laughs> oh, yeah. You can actually teach teleport and save time. Um, the biggest time save of having teleport is you can skip the death warp in Goldenrod by just teleporting, but. It takes up a move spot, and when you're running something like this, you oh kind of my goodness, moves. you're kidding! Oh, that's even worse. Oh, oh this, my god, this did it just light awful. screen? It light Wait, screen, it light yeah. Oh my god, it might be better to quick attack here. <laughs> it's wow, it is actually better to quick attack with the Gengar than AC Wind. I've never seen that before. This is bad. Oh please, do you have so... any healing items? I do, but okay. like. <laughs> All right, I, I want to know the moves on the Growlithe now that I've seen this Gengar or the Beedrill. Oh my goodness! What is happening? Oh my god! This this paint's going I... so poorly. Wow. Keys, uh, no. I'm I'm Chris. I might actually be wiping. Oh wait! Like right before. Oh, he doesn't have a paralyzed heal. Yeah. Wow. Before rival one? No, 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 no. no, no. Before, before Violet. Oh, yeah, Violet. <laughs> I got hit by one of the spinners, and I've been paralyzed every turn. <laughs> Alright, well, Gengar's gonna have to come in clutch here. This is horrible. Oh, an icy wind, too. Oh, you, I guess you're paralyzed, I didn't even know this. Oh, well, yeah. you know... Alright, I'm running the Gengar, Okay, wow, okay, Gengar just became runnable. Oh god, I gotta move. Yeah. Uh, oh, he well, still might I'm... wipe, is the only thing. Oh, yeah, yeah definitely might wipe. That should KO, yeah. Yeah, learn Spark at level eight. Oh, that's all right, yeah. Yeah, Spark well, Icy Wind is actually perfect. You say it's all right, covered. but everything in this fight was water, so it was great. Yeah, that saved you, honestly. Okay, I'm not fighting that first trainer. Screw that. All right, I'm. I'm. I don't normally repel this early, but like, get. Yeah, you kind of out to here. Get out. Get out of here. It's not safe. The thing about being paralyzed is your speed gets halved, or quartered in Gen 1. So if you were to get wild encounters, you might fail to run and could risk dying and being back at mom's house. So it's definitely worth the repel. This was 
This was a rough start for me. All right, Gengar. I, I put my faith in you. Also, my D-pad got oh stuck there. God. I put my faith in you. Don't let me down. I reset six times in the gym. Yeah, Chris is having trouble dodging the spinner. He got past the first one. He's on the second now. Oh, I, I just got hit by the first one, so... Yeah. Chris is about to start Faulkner. We'll see if Keys decides to reset over this first fight. It looked pretty scary at the glance. I didn't save, so I just got to do it. Oh, this God. Fight. You're joking. I'm not. <laughs> good good, I'm good not. luck with the Wobbuffet, dude. Oh, my God. <laughs> it's just status after oh status, man. I mean, it might just have to take the white. Yeah, you, you definitely centered, so it's not that big a deal. That's ridiculous. Every That's three statuses in two fights I've gotten. Yeah. That's why uh, Chris was like spending so much effort trying to dodge this trainer. You can see how annoying it is with like a big wall with a move that statuses you. You can just get melted by the fight. Yeah, my strongest move did like an eighth, so I just decided to skip him. Yeah. Wobbuffet is one of the fattest Pokemon in this game. It, I think it has like <laughs> 200 defenses, or, or not 200, uh, like 200 health and then uh, like low-ish defenses, but has such a huge HP stat that it's super bulky. If it takes you three turns to KO it and it, you know, burns you, you're gonna take a ton of damage. We'll, we'll get Hello, the mega, my child. mega punch TM. Do I teach that? I should probably. Do you have a normal move right now? Nope. Yeah. Gee, probably. talking about normal move, I wonder which one of the two I mentioned you got. <laughs> Something else I think we failed to mention is every time you beat a gym leader in Gen 2, you get a badge boost for that gym leader's type that makes your Pokemon do 10, is it 10 or 12%? I think it's 12% uh, more damage in that type. So, for example, if uh, someone had the flying move after beating Faulkner, like let's say Drill Pack that's 80 power, uh, suddenly it would be doing like uh, 92 base power instead because you get that slight boost. And that's another reason why Normal is so good in running in Gen 2, because Whitney's the third gym, and then you get that uh, extra boost in power to the Normal moves. I think Stab Headbutt after Whitney is something like 120 power. It's pretty ridiculous, yeah. It's like the same, it's like stronger than, or it's the same power as Thunder, roughly. Except it has a 30% chance to flinch. Oh. oh man. I taught over Water Gun. I think that was the right call. Yeah, Water Gun doesn't really help you that much because you do have a coverage move for Rock. Probably a good play. Again, it's all about trying to keep your Pokemon with the best coverage possible. And uh, getting that normal move just gives him a move that hits everything and still has fighting move for Rock types. The only issue is like Aerodactyl now. Taurus does not really have a special stat anyway. Pokemon's pretty weak on the special side. It's always funny seeing when you guys are like pretty much exactly tied, even with the super different strats. Uh, Keys just blitzes spinners in this. No fear. I, like, I never see people just blitz trainers in Spinner Hell. I always see people pause. Like, make sure they have a good frame. You just kind of go. Oh god, I paused on the wrong title. <laughs> I hate when I do that so much. <laughs> I still dodge them. Oh, I could have waited for that one. See, this one, this one I'll save before just because he can hurt you a lot. Yeah, he has level 13. It's, like, way higher level than anything else that you've, like, had to fight up to this point. It's kind of weird, wow. the gym leader's a level 9 is his highest, and then, the, like, the very next fight, you can fight level 13. Mm -hmm. Just a huge step up in difficulty. Both of you leaving the Eevee on 1 HP. Nice. Good question from Chad. Are any of y'all gonna be fishing in this run? No, nope. mm, I'm just gonna time, stick no. it out with the Gengar. Yeah, they both passed up the rod. You have to pick up the rod in the Pokemon Center, right before the cave. Yep. Um, if you don't pick it up there, uh, you can't fish. The next rod's all the way in Olivine, and we won't even get there in this race. Yeah, you usually only fish if, you're, if your Pokemon's, like, not good enough. And both of them have a Pokemon that's good enough right now. 
Tauros is one of the best Pokemon in uh, Crystal, and Gengar's really good as well, especially when it has perfect coverage. Though, it's pretty weak. It only has Spark, AC, Wind. It's about as bad as you can get for perfect coverage. Could have been Thundershock, Powder Snow, I guess. Icy Wind and Powder Snow are the same, aren't they? No, Icy Wind's 55. Powder oh. Snow's 40. I thought yeah. they were both 40. Okay, yeah, that's the better than The I problem with Icy Wind is it can miss. Yeah, that's true. But it can freeze, which is really good. Or no, Powder Snow is the one that freezes. Yeah. Powder Snow is how I beat Lance when I was a kid, because I had a pile of swine. <laughs> Ooh, Chris picking up a pretty good item there. Does does he's not pick up items? I don't know if he's so, picked it up. Sometimes I, I do, think. sometimes I don't. Okay. Depends on if I'm a header behind. Yeah. That makes. Well, sense. you're literally one tile apart on the same trainer, so <laughs> one of you dodged him on, or one of you got hit when he was looking up, one of you got hit when he was looking right. Oh my god! Everything keeps living on one. Stop it. Same with <laughs> same with Keys or uh, with Chris. This is the same race. We're watching the same race, just with two different Pokemon. Same level and everything. I'm just gonna yeah, use it. Yeah, I probably would too. Extra level could be nice. Maybe I should have taught that. <laughs> wow. Eh, it's not Gen 1 Amnesia. Yeah. Yeah, Amnesia in Gen 1 is the most broken move of all time. It's two Calm Minds in the same turn, because Special Defense and Attack are the same stat. Gen 2 would only boost Special Defense, so it's not as broken. Both of them. Oh, Chris is not opting to heal. Okay. Gonna gain a little bit of time. Something kind of interesting. This first trainer in the well is impossible to dodge. Uh, when spinners are off screen, unloaded, they're always looking down. So the first frame that you load them, they'll be looking down. And... Because if he's looking down on the first frame and you're walking to him, you know, from below, he ha he's guaranteed to hit you because he's looking down off screen. So, undodgeable. So you just have to take this fight. It's the same with the trainer in Whitney's gym. I think there's a method that you can avoid him, but it's really complicated and generally slower. And you still have to blindly dodge a spinner. At this point in time, I don't mind fighting him because I need the experience. <laughs> yeah. Oh, stop living on, like, two or three. What is happening? <laughs> Skangar just barely not strong enough. Gengar really doesn't want to do me like... any solids. Yeah. It really does feel like you should be hitting some of these ranges. My special DB just must be trash. Mm-hmm. At least you got that Tangela. That could have been bad. Here's a question. Do randomizers exist for later Pokemon games yet? I'm not sure what your definition of later is, but that is a great question. Uh, they go up all the way to Gen 7, and I believe that's also a Let's Go one. I just don't have experience with that one, so... There is oh. one for Let's Go, but you have to modify your uh, Switch, and most people don't do that. Wow, that pun is uh, I... Despite uh, wow, yeah, that's going to be yeah, a problem. The, no, I'm, I'm actually hardwalled. Uh, I'm trying to think, yeah, Keys might have to come up with something here. Maybe a paralysis or a crit. Wait, you can hit it with Spark, right? What happened? I didn't even pay attention. It has Earthquake, the Ponyta. One shots him from full. Oh, but it's not good AI. Yeah, he just has to knock it Earthquake. Yeah, so there are AI types <laughs> in this game. and okay. Earthquake, four hit. Yeah, there's AI types in this game. Uh, this thing is 25% to Earthquake. If it Earthquakes, he's dead. Uh, did you buy X items, Keys? Do you have X defense? Uh-uh. Okay, yeah. So he could opt to X defend. Um, you can buy him in Violet, but most people skip that mark. Uh, but you can go there and purchase X defense for safety. Let's hope this fight goes well. That's good. Good start. And unfortunate. Let's see if it kills. Okay, yeah. It, it does. Uh, it feels like that should be a range, but yeah, I'm not sure what the strat here is. No, this this trainer does have good AI though. So does he really? Oh, it does. Yeah. Yep. So I'm I'm hard walled unless I train. So I'm I'm pretty much already out. <laughs> yeah. That's unfortunate. This is kind of why Gengar is riskier to run in Gen 2, because uh, there's a lot of stuff that can just kind of wall you. 
You're pretty close to level 13. Maybe he level I'm, 15 I'm fighting, off I'm the fighting trainer. this trainer, just yeah. helping. If Ponyta, you get level 15, Ponyta's you're pretty high nice. attack though, so I don't think it's gonna be enough. 15. I think if you're 16, you'll tank. It'll be close. I think they'll do about 40 at 16. If I were to guess. Yeah, it's like it's one of those things where you kind of have to judge uh, Pokemon stats as you go. <laughs> That's kind of a meme. <laughs> Endure. Could PP stall it. Good, good, good stuff. Oh, that's really good. Yeah, Lugia is gonna give a ton of XP. He'll get level 14 off that for sure. There's like maybe a chance he'll live then. I'm surprised that quick attack killed. Oh. Ooh, yeah. Oh my God, Chris. I, I thought that was gonna kill. That was crazy. Give a hit, please. Uh, oh, Gengar's not tanking. Not a chance. But they'll be confused. I don't have super potions, I only have regular. I think I'm dead. Ooh. Just hope for the hit self. <laughs> Everyone walled on the same fight. Okay, wow, well, lucky. Oh, Gengar for the double heal. Okay. Yeah, we can also Holy, please. Let's see if this earthquake can. Oh, wait, I have a boomerang too. Ooh, it missed. Come on, come on. Oh, no. Ugh. It has oh, boomerang oh, too. Oh my god, it, it, it max minned. It max minned. What I'm alive. the heck was that? And that was maximum roll what? into minimum roll. I should not have won that fight. That was 2 in 39, wasn't it? Yeah. Was that. Yeah, that, that may have been 1 in 39 into 2 in 39. That was insane. All right, well. There's a good example of damage ranges. Uh, every move does different our... damage. <laughs> I'm so happy you got through that. I was so I... worried about that. Oh my goodness. Holy okay. crap, that was nuts. <laughs> that I that was an undeserved win. Yeah, so uh, every move when you use it does different amounts of damage. It's usually within like four damage. So uh, early on, I should say, it's within like four damage. So that boomerang could do uh, 20 to 24, I think. And it rolled 20, 23, I think, on the first and then 20 on the second and he lived. That being it's said, we have a race, though. Yeah, for sure. It's always hard when, like, one person starts falling behind and he's <laughs> nice, lives on one. Nothing dies. This Gengar has, like, zero <laughs> special DV. It's an, it's embarrassing. Yeah. What was that? 4640? Well, it has more HP than special. That's not good. Technically, you guys are only one fight apart, so... Definitely can still come back. Keys, would you like to convey how that uh, fight made you feel? Uh, I cannot convey how that made me feel on the Game Zone <laughs> Quick channel. <laughs> <laughs> Fair enough. I, I would have, that. I would have hit AB start select after the first roll. I was surprised he didn't just reset after seeing the range on the first one. I, oh, I almost great. did. I almost did. <laughs> I can't believe it minimum. That was nuts. There's a perfect example of uh, damage ranges, though. Anytime anyone asks, just show them that clip. <laughs> this is what the yeah. damage range is. That was so spoopy. <laughs> yeah. A little bit of a scary fight here now. It kind of sucks. Sometimes you have to just sacrifice your other Pokemon in some situations, and you had to sacrifice this Porygon here. Luckily, the Sneasel didn't have anything. It can help to have a, a second Pokemon if you get confused or something. Oh, you can always swap okay. out and heal. Yeah, yeah keep, keep doing that. Skin. I don't care about that. Keep doing that. <laughs> oh. Paralyzed. Well, oh, that outrage is a little scary. Whew, I thought it crit. <laughs> Ooh, yeah, that was a good roll in the second one. All right, scary fight done. Six six x xp. <laughs> Happy <laughs> Halloween, <Devil> dog. <laughs> Devil dog on Halloween. <laughs> Please be like. It's oh, yeah, Kar Karate Chop. Fantastic, <laughs> yeah. Beautiful move. It's I good for lie. one person. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I need everything I can get to win, apparently. <laughs> He's going to get Headbutt here, too, which is a pretty big Headbutt's deal. We mentioned a, it yeah. earlier. Uh, headbutt might be what, what makes or breaks the race, not counting the fights that we've had. Yeah. I've had Mega Punch this whole time, though. That's pretty good, too. Yeah, Mega Punch is the same power as Headbutt. It just doesn't flinch. Or, yeah, it lacks the ability to flinch, and it's not perfectly accurate. But I don't think you've missed, have you? I've missed once or twice. Okay, yeah, I didn't really notice any misses. 
It's, uh, I think it's 85%, right? I think so. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that's the case. So yeah, I'm gonna teach Headbutt here for sure. So that's one of the strongest moves in the game now. At least early on. Stab, stab Headbutt from a Tauros is just huge damage. Good item. Oh my, really? Wow, that's such okay. an unfortunate crit. Yeah, well... Growth into crit. I'm not too hurt about it because it's experience, but that's time. Yeah, it's like a probably minute time loss to that. The thing is, like in randomizer, sometimes you have to do a fight and lose it just to see what the fight is, and then you can adapt to it the next time you do the fight. So now that he knows the flamethrowers on the B drill, he might play a little bit differently here. Uh, probably sit the safer range of HP because flamethrower non crit would probably do like I don't know. 20 or 30. Probably like 25. So now he's at 31 HP. It should be a little bit safer. I think he got crit from like 31, so. I should so be unfortunately you get crit. Unless I get crit again, I should be fine. Oh, yeah, not even close. Good goodness. A crit wouldn't have even killed me that time. Geez. The level up helped. Yeah, true. Yeah, that probably wouldn't even kill with a crit. Yeah, what's weird about Critical is in Gen 1, it ignores all stat changes, but in Gen 2 onward, it only ignores negative stat like, negative toward the critter's stat changes. So, for example, in Gen 1, if you use Tail Whip six times and then crit them, you'll do less damage than if you didn't, like, Tail Whip it. Or, you know, than if you didn't crit, because, uh, something being minus six defense and a non-crit would do more damage than something at normal defense getting crit. It's so and goofy. Yeah, in this game, uh, crits only ignore negatives toward the critter. So if something growls you six times and you crit it, you're going to do massive damage compared to if you don't crit it. So that's kind of what happened there. It boosted its special and then crit. So it was basically like a four times effective crit rather than two times because it doubled. Because it's a jerk. <laughs> I can't believe it did 31 with the crit. I'm shocked that killed. It did have a growth, so. Yeah, that's what I mean. Even with the growth, it just seemed like a huge roll. It was it was probably a near max, if not actual max. Yeah. Makes up for the the lucky range, I guess, earlier where you got minimum yeah. rolled for the win. Gotta take the good with the bad, I guess. So yeah, key's slightly behind. Uh, Goldenrod's kind of the, the the point where you kind of start speeding up. You get the bike, so as soon as you get the bike, the game really speeds up, I'd say. Yeah, this is probably going to come down to Spinner oh, Hell. Oh, man. Oh, every time. You can't get off screen by that guy every time. I know. Oh, I forgot the heal. Okay. I just pass it under. Nothing to live on usually. one, please. Thanks. I mean, that thing lived on one as the first Pokemon in the well, <laughs> so... You're kidding me. Um, oh yeah. my god, are you joking? Did you uh, save me? Nope. Uh, Chris, Aww. I might take a concede, to be honest. Wait, what happened? Uh, I'm wiping all the way back to Azalea. Oh. Yeah, he didn't save and eradicate had Earthquake. I mean, it's definitely still a. Wait, what? What, what, what did you? What did you lose? What did? What did you lose? Progress. The trip back, back through the Zillia. forest. Do you have repels keys? Uh, I should. I'm. I'm. I mean, you're not that far behind, honestly. I'm it's dying. not that bad. No, like, no. This game, I'm not gonna make it that far. So, like, I. I'm gonna keep playing, but like, I. I'm just accepting the fact I'm not gonna win. I could. Uh, wait. So you're back where you. No, reset. it's okay. It's okay. Part of the race, he accepted the Gengar. He accepted the earthquake risk. I accept the second place. Oh, I hit! I hit the juggler and the fire breathe at the same time. They're both time. looking to the right. Yeah. <laughs> no, see, anyone who goes to my channel on the reg knows this is actually just strategy. I say I give up, and the game doesn't like beat me up anymore. Are you going to dodge all the trainers now? I think you still have a valid chance, especially if, if, if you don't. Oh, yeah. No, no, he just, he literally just dodged every trainer. So yeah, he's in don't worry about it. All right, this is a race for sure. 
Oh, you're like a minute behind, not even. No, I told yeah, you, I mean... it's part of my strat. It's part of my strat. Sky was worried, she didn't understand. <laughs> Do you just hold select to dodge spinners, duh. Would you believe me if I said that's what I've been doing? <laughs> <laughs> I don't think I ever saw the text pop up. That's you because I pressed it when it was mid-transition, so it Right, never yeah, up. yeah, so you could hold it, right. Smart. Good old right. select to crit. I'm gonna continue to complain until I get past spin or hell. Complaining uh, usually works. He's making it seem like he fell so far behind, and it if he loses, it's like not a big deal. And if he wins, I'm like, I'm the super loser. Oh that's yeah, my I'm, god, I'm, losing I'm really so badly angry right now. Right now. I'm please? losing really badly right now. Punish him, game. <laughs> nah, oh my god. Nah. There's I'm so many him. strong feelings right I'm, now. I'm, my I'm, goodness. I'm so far behind, Chris. I don't stand a chance anymore. Did this he just dodge every trainer? Punish, punish him, game. Stop. There, I hit one. Are you okay? Wow, he, he has to fight one whole Pokemon and pass one of Spinner Hell. Oh my one god. One whole Pokemon. You're already ahead now? What? No, I'm behind, I'm dude. I'm so mad. Dude, I'm Team Chris all the way. Let's go, Chris. Come on, baby. I'm, I'm, I'm trying. Behind. I'm behind. Don't worry dude, about I'm it. I'm so, I'm so full on Team Chris right now. Let's go, dude. Do I do the death warp or not? Yeah, no? I, I'm, I'm full team Chris too. Let's go, Chris. <laughs> Shut up, keys. <laughs> Let's go, Chris. I'm too far behind. I can't catch up. Can we? Ah, uh, someone mute this guy. Yeah, <laughs> get, get, get him out of here, dude. This is the Chris fan club from here on out. Can we? Can we please? Can we time out keys and chat? Wait, what? <laughs> Dang. It's okay, chat, I'm hitting all chat, the trainers press, now. Press 1 if we should time out keys in chat. I'm hitting all the trainers I'll take now. Take the vote okay. that way. I'm not going to do the death warp. I'm just walking. Uh, no, actually. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever. Wait. <laughs> I couldn't tell what you were going to do. I, still, I, just, I don't know either. They're all still just rooting for Goldine, by the way. <laughs> Alright, beat these. On the bright side, Chris has battled more trainers, so... Oh my god. He hit both. Uh -oh. I'm gonna bit, I'm gonna hit every trainer in Spinner Hell again, and that's how he's gonna win. <laughs> I, I don't know, man. We just need him to hit every trainer on the way Muffins, back. Muffins, please, what do you do? I got timed out in chat. Nice. Deserve. I, I appreciate that, Muffins, thank you. Tell you what, if you hit three spinners, we'll we'll give you chat permissions. He's just like that kid in school when you asked him, "Did you do your homework?" and he's like, "No," just so he <laughs> didn't have to share it, you know. And he complains the whole time. Yeah, he's that kid. I was. What's your point? <laughs> <laughs> I'll tell you something. There's at least one in every randomizer community. Okay, at least one of these type of racers. Yeah, we have two of them. It's Steven and Keys, and they're the same person. Yeah. <laughs> you caught me. No, I can't win, dude. It's okay. Pretty much a tied race uh, going into the gym. I don't know about that one. I think he's winning. It's You're on the same trainer right now. The only thing is you have more trainers you'll have to dodge on Spinner Hell. How many do you have to dodge, Chris? Do you hit them all? Uh, Two to dodge only. Okay. I think he's has I five. I did the thing again. <laughs> oh my god, up. he forgot no, he forgot to withdraw the uh, Gengar, so he took a wipe. See, oh, another one in the gym. <laughs> yeah, another wipe. I have only three sure. headbutts for the rest of the gym. That's risky, but doable. Do you have any ethers or anything? Let me check, I don't know. I don't know if you picked one up. Yeah, it's nice to get some ethers when you're, like, picking up the items randomly, or... <sighs> Were they miracle berries? Uh, I'm maybe hitting all. Yeah. I'm. How is this? How is this happening? I'm pausing for every spinner to get the best odds and hit all of them, and Keys just yolos past them. I think if Keys just closes his eyes on half these routes. <laughs> I have spinner hell memorized, so. Oh my god. Actually, that's true. I could do it blindfolded, probably too, at this point. At least in uh, what? with the movement for the non. Oh please don't. Non spinner hell. But Chrism, you got the you got the fan favorites here pulling for you. Yeah, let's go. Come on, Shadow Ball Ursaring. Sh oh, why pedal dance? We haven't <laughs> we haven't seen a nice, comfortable Shadow Ball crit yet on the Gengar. 
I'd love not. to see some shadow balls. I would not. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so there. See, I'm hitting spinners. Okay. Yeah, he hit the uh, the spinner you just did. There's some spinners like when you dodge them, they're like permanently dodged. Nice dodge there. I'm surprised you go that way, Chris. Man, Jeez. I'm gonna I'm gonna go to the GDQ channel in the next couple of days and then try to post something and then realize I'm banned and be really confused. <laughs> well, you're probably gonna get Hobbs judging you the next time you have your show keys. I mean, yeah. I, he judges me anyway, so I'm not really concerned. Yeah, but if you keep saying you're you're not gonna finish something, he'll call the show the last step instead of the first step. And then I'll win every oh, race. You man. see how this goes? Like... <laughs> yeah, uh, you're, Chris gonna, is you're gonna love you're gonna love Chris Whitney's is in the lead, lead again. <laughs> oh no, is it something with Earthquake? No. no, it's better. If it has Earthquake, you're fine. Don't tell him, don't tell him. No, tell me. Oh, you're fine. Dude, oh, they can you'll, have Shadow Ball, Earthquake, Bone Meringue, and you'll, you'll be fine. Even if it has Sword Stance, you're good. Wait, is it a... wait. Oh no, don't, don't be. And the seven shot. <laughs> Yeah, this what thing do I is freaking do, man? Level. Oh, you have quick attack. Let's go. <laughs> it has bite. It hurts. Oh, it has bite. Oh, my oh God. that actually hurts. Yeah, that hurts. Oh, no. They're, they're cheering Chris on with each step. They're saying, go, Chris, and go. Let's go, Chris. Team Chris. Cancel Team Chris. keys are on. Wow. <laughs> oh, my, oh my God. God. Oh, okay, maybe on. we don't have to go that far. Maybe. Uh, <laughs> because you said that. Uh, Oh no! Oh, this is horrible. I thought I thought. Let's these go, were Keys. My Team Keys. <laughs> wow, I... the the, uh, the fa fan favorites have changed. Dude, did you just yeah, get we'll double see. crit? Oh Unbelievable. my god! He got Unbelievable. double crit by the voice. <laughs> Unbelievable. Let's go, Team Keys. <laughs> I w I kind of wish it had Earthquake instead. <laughs> like, it's fine. Morty's gonna lead a uh, cross chop Aerodactyl. It'll be great. <laughs> <laughs> We'll, we'll get the payback on this. Hey, look, I don't even have to dodge these because I beat them all already. Smart. Good strat. Should I get the quick claw for Taurus? I'd... You're really just Ugh. milking I'm just memeing, them. dude. Please don't crit me again. Thank I don't you. think crit would kill from 40. It, w it would have. It did 20. Wait, really? Wow. Yeah. Man, the encounters. Crits don't do exactly double, though. Oh, man. Prism, stop running into things. I know, Chris, so many encounters. Fight the kimonos. I fought them for you. What? I'm not that yeah. far ahead. Yeah, but Chris is starting. Be. It, I have the dodge trainer still. <laughs> Main switch to the pseudo would I make it exciting. Oh it's a butterfree. <laughs> 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 I'm gonna I'm gonna hit that with ancient power for some experience. Yeah, not a bad call. I I assume you're gonna center. Oh I hope you don't need that ancient power. There's still two spinners to dodge. Bit risky there. This is miserable. I love twins in Spinner Hell because they're the same fight, but there's basically like two spinners that oh. are the same person. It makes it so hard to dodge this route. Yeah, yeah they're, they're very kid, hard. Kid, Oh my gosh. Spinner. Chrism, how do they catch you from that what far away? That's your, a lot. Keys. Go me! Keys Chrism. just avoided all six trainers on the first round. Oh my god. Chrism, you got zero. ripped off. You got very ripped off. Go me! Oh no! You oh gotta my give. Y'all gotta to give Chrism the support. I have point. to. I have to reset if I hit that next spinner because I'm out of moves. No, you can struggle through it. Just save. Yeah, Keys is on the pseudo with him now. He just miracled. Oh well. <laughs> yeah, you're gonna hit the twins. Use they both would have hit you. <laughs> oh, can't show that on Twitch. Come on, Keys. Look, man. Ugh. Wait, well, let that know. one walk over to you. Why didn't the first one just hit you? It's all good. It's all good. We're we're still we're still in second place comfortably. I stand no chance of winning. It's okay. I feel like Keys is downplaying Chris. I'm back on team Chris. After that he's disgusting so, he's so mean. Dodges. Oh god, they're both in that critique at the same time. 
I still, this is gonna be such a close race. It's gonna really come down to rival. I can't take how close this is, Shen. This is after after all the drama that has happened within this race. I don't know if I can take a close ending here. There's did no you, reason. Did you buy X items? Close. Of no, course I didn't. didn't. No, he he I, blitzes, so you've got I X wiped. items. Huh? <laughs> oh Remember, my God. I wiped. It was horrible. I wouldn't be able to afford it even if I wanted to. All right, I need everything to lead cross chop. <laughs> this is not a great lead for keys. This is much better for Chris. Oh, They're gonna have sucks. the same rival because they picked the same starter. So this is just a free ancient power, maybe a boost. Mm. Not getting a boost. Oh, it has sacred fire. If that burns, okay, got lucky. Just gonna have to dodge one more burn or get pin missile. Lucky. Yeah, if that burned, that could have been really bad. Okay, Chris with the slight lead. Looks like his stream's kind of stuttering a bit. You still there, Chris? Oh, I'm still here. Yeah, looks like it. I got disconnected again. Okay, yeah. Maybe got disconnected ah, again. I automatically win because Chris is splicing. Yeah, no! he's splicing right now. Chris, commentate for us. What's going on? Okay, I just beat the rival, actually. You should have just said you beat Morty and said call I don't, I don't believe him. I think he's cheating. Yeah, I'm, I'm going to go ahead and just... Oh, it just reconnected automatically. Okay, okay I'm nice. back. Lucky. Yay! Welcome back, Chris. I'm... Something else we probably didn't mention. Conveniently, right after the rival, I'm actually back. <laughs> That's fine. It, it's a free fight. It's like 8 HP. Barely it was, hanging. uh, the only thing I didn't want was the sand as a slash. That was two yeah. hit Yeah, I saw this up to the sand slash when he cut out. Something cool we probably didn't mention is, uh, the legendary dogs, when you, like, see them pop out, it makes the cry of what they get randomized to. So if you know all the Pokemon cries, it can help you out, which is a little funny. All right, looks like he's is catching up here. Do I beat the the guys in here? That's I think I. I'm just gonna do it if he's wins. Then it's... I mean, I have to. I have to center. Yeah, he definitely has to center. You're out of healing items, right? I have potions. Four super potions. Yeah, he is... Uh, I think he's going to try and center skip here. He just supered and ethered. He has yeah, literally I'm, one item. He has the black belt. I'm I'm buying. Uh, yeah. I was going to say, you could probably buy like a revive. Like it's, 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 it's faster for me this way. Yeah. Definitely. Oops. What the... Come on. I got the, the double input, dude. I hate that. Mm. Let me know if either of y'all are coming up on time here. Yeah, we're getting there. I have to just fight this. I'm not going to reset over and over or whatever. Yeah, that's what Chris was debating. Chris decided to fight as well. Wow, something died in... gonna block you, but it reset his position. Oh god. Okay, we'll just fight him. That, okay. that repel threw me off. Yeah, that repel was at a really bad time. Ah, it ate my input. No. Your kid. Oh, come on. Oh, that's unfortunate. <laughs> so, Keys, they're yes. fixing the stream. And all they're seeing is I, Richard, while the everything's being redone, and all chat is. Hi, <laughs> Richard. Hi, Richard. <laughs> Rip Richard. Should we wait? Uh, like, are we still playing no, on no. stream? You're good. Yes, yes, yes. Oh, okay, 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 okay. No, it's just. <laughs> You're just ruining everything with your audio, Chris. That's oh, okay. All. Yeah, okay. every time your audio. Oh my crashes. God, Keys! Can you stop with these spinner dodges? All right, he's burned going into Morty. Wait, really? I don't have a, oh I don't my have goodness. A I don't have a choice. Yeah, he I, can't I... heal it. He doesn't have time. So he's going in burned. Uh, Chris is set up. Was that 2x attacks? Yep. There's not much that's going to tank from that. The Starmie could. Nope. Nope. Oh, there's Got the that. Shadow Ball. That was probably a range. And Shadow Ball lead. Uh, yeah, that's, yeah, that, that's, that's game. <laughs> wow, what a close that's race. Game. What a race. Yeah. 
I'll, wow, I'll, that's, I'll, that's I'll, crazy. I'll concede from here. That's that's not winnable for me from here. Yeah, like, he'd actually, have to go in center, and yeah. <laughs> even after centering, he'd have to come up the way to Let's it. go! Time for, Time. Time for you? Okay. 46-39, congratulations, Chrism. Thanks. What a man. race! That was intense. <laughs> that was really good. Dude, your spinner dodges were insane that race. No, you the team was flamethrower. So many. Well, I do want to thank, and I want to encourage everybody to please follow all three of these people. Please follow 360 Chrism. Please follow Kizron, and please follow Shenanigans. All three of them are just fantastic and put on one heck of a show tonight. We're very appreciative to have such a strong showing on episode three of Random Number Generation. So, real quick here, few notes. Remember, GDQ Hotfix is brought to you by viewers like you. If you are enjoying tonight's show and the other programs of GDQ Hotfix, please consider subbing to the channel. If you have Amazon Prime, you do have access to a free sub, so please consider using that sub here to support GDQ Hotfix. A uh, couple quick announcements. Tomorrow we will be here at 7 p.m. Eastern for an awesome speedrun of Even the Ocean with Half Coordinated as part of Disability Awareness Month. And also, AGDQ 2020 volunteer schedule will be released on the 31st. So if you are a volunteer for AGDQ 2020 and you've been waiting for it, it will be released very soon. Are we checking on the shiny real quick before we're going? Uh, we don't have Surf this time because no one beat the Kimono Girls. <laughs> no! <laughs> I wanted to see the shiny this time! Yeah. Not this time, sorry. <laughs> Not this time? No, it'll take too long to beat the Kimono Girls, I think. Yeah. yeah, it's five fights. Well, dang, I'm disappointed. I was like, hmm, I wonder what the shiny is going to be this time. People were rooting for this hack. <laughs> Salt in chat. Well, Salt there was more. Room. I will make it clear there was more chill for Goldeen than any of y'all. So. Yeah, I think the fact that you dumped the Goldeen is what cost you this race. You you know for a fact if I took that Goldeen to Morty, I would have died turn one. <laughs> Yeah, but the issue is, like, you lost the race anyway, so you should have just taken the Goldeen to not blow all your luck. I think you sacrificed all your luck on this race. Namely the Earthquake Bonita. Oh, that, my fights this time around were just really, really bad. Like, I I'm happy that I was able to keep it close, but... Yeah, there was a lot of Shadow Balls on Earthquakes, which is, like, the weakness of Gengar in Gen 2. They added Shadow Ball, which gives you like an entire new type that you're weak to. And then Earthquake and Bone Meringue, still scary. So yeah, anything else y'all wanna say as we're winding down the stream? Please make sure to follow Kizaron. Always plays the, the Pokemon, always a nice guy, except today, but usually a nice guy. <laughs> Uh, please follow Chrism. Shenanigans. He, he's a friend. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> yeah. We all play Pokemon <laughs> fast. Keyzron plays slightly faster than us, but we all play fast. Uh, and try out Rando. It's fun. Anyone can get into this. Join the discords we posted. Information's there. Yeah. Also, follow the commentator shenanigans as well. Again, I feel like the commentators always need more praise than what they receive. So shenanigans, please give him a follow. Pretty awesome person. And also, too, please watch Keys Around show right here on GDK Hotfix. The first step. Yeah, don't forget this this week around. It's going to be Friday at 7 p.m. Eastern instead of the usual Thursday, because Thursday we have 10 million hours of spoopy games. Absolutely. And the next episode of Random Number Generation, I believe, will be on November 12th. So if you have enjoyed the show, that is when we're going to be back. Please keep your eyes peeled on the GDQ Twitter for more information on the Hotfix show and when we are going to be rotating these shows, such as Random Number Generation, the first step. That's how you will not miss these things. All right, shall we shall we rate someone? Yes, absolutely. All right, since I Chris, won, I get. Be, yeah, I'm gonna be a good sport, Chris. Since you won, I'm gonna graciously give you the ability to. <laughs> to, to uh, the person to I mean, I was just gonna take it, but thanks, man. 
Chris just starts streaming like <laughs> All right, I'll be I, IRL stream celebrating after beating keys. We're gonna raid me. I'm a great guy. Oh, for no. <laughs> real, Chris. Who are we raiding here? All right. All right. Um, thank you again. Oh, sorry. Go ahead. Oh yeah, I was just gonna introduce the raid target. Oh, go for it. Okay, yeah, we're gonna be uh, raiding a good friend of mine. He's playing Super Mario 64 Randomizer. So if you didn't have enough Randomizer yet today, uh, you should check him out. He's doing. Uh, I said that already. His name is Bird 650. Let's and, go, Bird. Uh, I love yeah, Bird. Good choice. Yeah, Bird. Bird's Bird. a good guy. Bird's a solid uh, dude. So make sure to stick around his chat. Yeah, bomb, Say hi. Bomb him Maybe with, leave bomb a follow. Him with a bunch of follows after the host too. He's, he's yeah, that would be a awesome. That's worth watching. That would probably and make his day. Yeah, for sure, guys. Super so, good, super humble. Tell dude. him the keys sent you. For all of those here, though, at Random Number Generation, I'm Sky Bills, your host. We have Shenanigans, Keys are on, and 360 Chrism. Good night, and thank you, everybody, for being here again. We'll be back on November 12th. Take care, folks. Bye. GG's, Chris.